Whoa. <laughs> so good. Let's take it away. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Merge Corner. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, Merge Corner is easy this week. It's a gray t-shirt. We got, let's see, Art, give me a D38. Uh, I, I just logged on to Roll20. Hold on. I, oh, God. We're D30, all very D38? 38. 38. D38. Right. Okay. Yeah. 35. We got 35 of these gray t-shirts coming in. Uh, it's going to be two beds sort of mirrored. Uh, one facing the right way, one facing the down way, and on top of it, it says "Rip to the Rims." Rip to the Rims, brother. <laughs> uh, spooky corner. Um, what's spookier than party conflict? Art corner. Uh, uh, f- food. Um, uh, Valentine's Day candy. Boom. Yay! Um, there you go. I have something for the group before we all want to murder each other. Um. Nick uh, is oh. at home this morning. No, I don't have a present for you. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. But you have my love, irrevocable love. Um, Nick ordered flowers. <laughs> you can check the stream if you're here, but Nick ordered flowers because he's not here this morning because he had to work at 6 a.m. Look, they're so pretty. Aww. Oh, That's adorable. Shout out, Nick. Oh, yeah, Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Shout out, Nick, the unsung hero, bro. Thanks, Thanks Nick. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Wait, all of us. Hold on. Yeah. Don't, don't put it away. I'm trying oh to. It's oh, an shit. ad. It's an ad. Ad. Fuck. I need to stop. <laughs> 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 Suck it. You have to watch the ad. <laughs> Never know. Anyway, it smells like right. crap. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh, I, I, see I see it. I see it. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah, Thanks. Go, Nick. Anyway, fuck that guy. Oh. Anyway. What? <laughs> oh, wait. What? <where? laughs> Um, I will be sending this to uh, the person that wins the inevitable like Hunger Games outcome of today's session. So, oh okay, <laughs> okay. got it. We're fighting for the flowers. Um, can I yes. have all my spell slots back? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> can so, I turn into passed. a crocodile? Oh, shit. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um. Here's the recap. Um, the ghost of Finn. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Here's the recap. We, we they did a bunch of shit. Went to the doctor's office. Arlo didn't want to get seen by the doctor, so Arlo bounced. And then Kaz didn't like that Arlo bounced, and everyone kind of just split up. <laughs> Lauren got really good at stitching up wounds and shit. Kind of got in with the doctor a little bit, so that's baller. And then Arlo went to Rave Hall and became like fucking the dance messiah. What was it, Dance King? I can't remember. Became this dance like King, yeah. overlord messiah <laughs> of dancing. Created like a massive whirlpool. Uh, when Wyatt and Kira went to go get him, um, they got into a fucking fight, and then Alu created this conga line through the center of Rave Hall to go and get them. Uh, then y'all beat the shit out of some guy out the front, <laughs> and then you bounced. Uh, and in the meantime, Lowen had gone to see Kaz, and Kaz was outside of the, the museum. I think Kaz wanted to 1v1 whatever was going on in the museum, and then Lowen talked him down a little bit. And then Lowen started walking back, and in the meantime of that, Wyatt and Arlo were in the public bathroom having the strangest dnm in existence of man and then i think some confessions happened and yeah am i missing anything anyone i don't think so am i pretty much on here did i miss any details no i don't think so very good uh with that I think we're ready to start today's session. Um, as far as I know, Arlo had walked off. Wyatt was still in the public bathroom. Lowen was walking towards, like, Newtown. Kaz is still at the museum. Am I correct? Yeah, I know. You are correct on my character. You are yes. correct on mine. Also. Sounds right. Here's, I think, where the intersection's going to happen. This is where we're going to pick up. Um... Lowen, you are going to run into Arlo at the pier on your way back. 
so I'm aware that this music is skipping, I will fix an uno secondo. Um, so okay. feel free to drag yourselves out wherever you want to go. Um, you spot each other from across the way. Oh. I think I'm already... Yeah, I'm on the map here. Uh... There's two Wyatts. <laughs> Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh, there I am, Mom. Too many wires, too many No, the peer. <laughs> where's the peer? I can't tell. Where's the peer? I don't know, this but you're near me, and that's all that matters. So. <laughs> this, this whole area is like the peer, right? So. Oh, this whole area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're on it right now. <laughs> We're next to each other. And he keeps. He runs. He just runs away. No, oh! No. <laughs> uh, he probably stops looking surprised uh, not that surprised but just like oh uh, wide eyed hey you, you okay yeah I'm I, I just plan on seeing the uh, doctor because um, I'm supposed to do that Just give me a second. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like something's being rolled. Something's happening here. <laughs> something's going on. Go. I squint. <laughs> <laughs> you hear I can tell he's full of shit. <laughs> Uh, right. In that case, why don't I accompany you? I, I needed to speak to you anyway. Come on, let's go. And I just kind of put a hand gently between his shoulder blades. <laughs> mm. Right, okay. You no. seem... Walk. Have a... Where did you head off to? What did you get up to? I went dancing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why just shoot Arlo? No shit, yeah, I was genuinely tested, like trying to fix my to GM, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right. Um, I so I, I just went uh, dancing because I really felt like I needed it, and it helped. Good. Oh, that's give me, that. Give me that's. A oh no. <laughs> give me a second about that one. <laughs> Low and his the sound of dice being rolled. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Low and cares enough to like figure out whether you're lying about. Just dancing the line. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> they kind of pat Arlo's back very gently. So uh, I went and spoke to Kaz. He's upset, understandably. Um, you know something? What? I'm wondering if he just knows something that maybe we don't, which is why he's upset. Well, encoded frowns. I mean, I don't know. The only thing he seemed to know that we haven't inquired about so far is the fact that there's job over at the... Uh, <coughs> Over there at the, um, it's like a mall or something that's been abandoned to go retrieve something or other, I don't know, or deal with something that's in there. Now, he had the bright idea of going in himself, and I just kind of tried to talk him out of going along. Um, we're going to get... Makes sense. He... Mm. 
You think well, he's upset that he tried to do something on his own? No, he's upset with you and why? Because he thinks you ain't taking this, uh... <clears throat> taking the possible infection seriously enough. Now... I... I don't know if I if defending you is the right phrase for what I did, because I don't think I can defend you necessarily. What I will say is that I don't think he uh, has a right to be as angry or as uh, hard on you as he has been. <clears throat> I think, though, that you understand that it ain't just your life that's, uh, or not even your life that's at risk by not taking every and inspected by the doctor and that's why we are going to the doctor right now so I'm glad you changed your mind on doing that and <laughs> Lauren just kind of fixes him with this very sort of steady look and then like the intensity kind of breaks as they smile um <clears throat> That is a lot of information that was given to me. Um, if uh, Hazamir must know, I do take this seriously since my sister um, was last known to be infected. I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. And I never said I wasn't going to go to the doctor. I just didn't go when the Almighty Cass said to go. I know <laughs> he likes to say a lot of things and have us beat to his drum but I will not I am not Wyatt. What do you mean you, you ain't Wyatt? flashbacks. Tell me about Peter Pettingrew. <laughs> then, he <starts> staring <laughs> off. then he starts staring off into the distance. <laughs> he starts thinking about other things. Did Wyatt do something? Where is he anyway? You two, you two ran about. Um, with... Where is he? Is he causing trouble? Well, you know Wyatt... It's kind uh, of all he does. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, uh, I'm kind of getting used to that. Um, I'm going to see the doctor, and I'm going to have him give me his whatever. Do you want me to come? Uh, and that's a genuine question. Do you want me there as any kind of support? I ain't asking to keep an eye on you. Oh, it's fine. I'm going to go. You could walk me to the doctor if you want, but I would very much like to be by myself, if it's possible. I mean, I literally just said I ain't do saying that to keep an eye on you. I'm doing no. it for your... I I, I understand what you mean, but Casimir it won't believe you. So if you walked me there, then you can say that you walked me there. Because if you told Casimir that, he is going to say, Well, and you think that he actually did the thing that you wanted to do. <laughs> so that's why I think you should go. Shit. Go, go with you? 
You mean? Walk, walk me there. Maybe sure. not stay, but at least walk me. Yeah. Um. Right. <laughs> I don't think there's a, a single person that I believe is almighty enough to control what I, I do anymore. <laughs> you know? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was never a religious kind of person, and I don't hold people to that kind of standard. I've been let down too many times by people. Come on, let's, uh, let's go, um... I'll try and find Wyatt sooner or later. He's probably just shacked up with the first person who would take him, right? He just nods his head. Hmm. Mouse and turn. Mouse and turn. <laughs> Look at him dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh, shut it down. Let's shine around. Do it again. Let's do it. I want to kill the rat. I <laughs> do it. Tonight's gonna be a good, good I night. do it. You know what's crazy? Pizza Pettigrew was a rat as well. <laughs> Bro, don't even go there. <laughs> There is something deeply fucked up about this game that I <laughs> won't waste your time with now, but there is something no. going on. <laughs> now, follow behind uh, Arlo until we get... Or, uh, I'll knock on the door for him. Uh, come in. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you later, Arlo. Right. Walks in and closes it. What they don't know is I'm about to kill this doctor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but now he just walks in. Um. Yeah. So you walk in. Uh, you see that uh, Cadge, which is a doctor, is in conversation with Wilder, who's actually conscious now. Um, Wilder is like pretty groggy, awake. Uh, his eyes are kind of glazed, unfocused. He's uh, kind of set up t a tiny bit. Um, his eyes kind of flicker over to Arlo, and he doesn't say anything. And Cadge turns around. He's got a clipboard in his hand. And he surveys Arlo with those kind of like uh, dark intense eyes looks all up and down and says it's nice to see you back i suppose yeah i w i was coming back i just wanted to do something else fine uh a checkup right mm -hmm. take a seat he's kind of looking at wilder while just staring at him. Gives him gives him like a half like a half ass smile. <laughs> While just stares. Yeah. It sucks, right? Yeah. Kinda sucks. I'm the one. I'm here with my limbs. So funny, right? No. <laughs> this is like the first it's cycle not... of his hell. <laughs> To be tucked in with like a space fucking kids motif blanket with one leg and the guy that he hates the most dancing around in front of him. Also um, saving your life. Maybe. Yeah, also owing him. Um, mm. yeah, you take a seat, I assume, and like let the doctor check over you. Yeah. 
He sits call. down. He's like clearly anxious. Like he's like tapping his foot. He he's unsure what what's going to happen. Very nice. Um, the doctor's gonna check over you. Uh, I think this is a good time to transition scenes. Is there anything in particular, any like wound in particular that you're like wanting him to look at? Um. Well, he's been hit by the um he he didn't get hit by that weird creature that was trying to bury itself in people but he got <laughs> hit by um the other things a lot yeah the um, ones outside the diner right outside the diner also upstairs in that room oh true yeah okay cool um yeah he's been hit by those three things Probably more stuff, but yeah, there's I, mostly most of it. I think is like to the front of him, maybe his chest or face, different things like that. Yeah, cool. Um, nice. He is gonna look over you, and he's gonna look over you for the next like you know fifteen twenty minutes or so, and he'll also check like your blood blood pressure and like all that other shit. Um, in the mid- what a banger of a song. Firstly, in the meantime. <laughs> We're going to briefly shift gears. We're going to skim. The camera kind of pans across Newtown, zooms past Ravehall, navigates over the bridge into Old Town, and finds itself uh, focused on Kaz, who is standing at the front of the museum alone. What's going on? What's going through your mind, Kaz? How are you? <laughs> what's what's up, boo? Uh, he'd, he'd probably have, like, tried to find, like, see if there's a pickup truck just, like, left on the job site. And he'd just be, like, laying in the bed of it. With one earbud in, just staring up. <clears throat> but, like, very pissed that he's, like, been roped into this. And, like, <clears throat> um, like he's already at odds with the whole thing to begin with. And then he's shackled with this. Um, and just, like, I don't know. Like, what was the use of all that training? If they're not going to use it, that's that's probably what's going through his head. Nice. Uh, do you think Kaz has given any more thought to Kira? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't stay here. It's. He would have thought that, like, if he could convince her, but he knows he probably can't. That's why they uh, stopped talking for, you know. A yeah. couple years before she stole an airship to begin with. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, he just knows that, like, your mind's not going to change. And uh, yeah, he. I don't it's know. devastating. He's, he's well suited for life in life in Cochet. Project. Despite its flaws, it's uh, somewhere where you're not threatened with death every day. Interesting. Very good. Um. Do you think, uh, how long do you think Kaz would stand here before he did something? Like, he went inside or he, like, went back to the bunks or, like, went looking for Lowen or... No, he'd, he'd wait. Do you just, like I said, wait in the, like, in the back of that, like, truck bed so no one could see him, uh, with one earbud out so he could hear, hear people coming, but... Yeah, sick. He'd just hang okay. out. Nice. Uh, cool. In the meantime... Lowen emerges back up into the pier. Um, maybe we'll zoom over to Wyatt. We'll fling back around to wherever Wyatt is. Um, what are you doing, Boo Well, uh, like I said to you in Whisper just now, Chen, Wyatt is um, prowling, prowling the pier. He was uh, slowly... And poorly stalking Lowen and and, and and Arlo as they uh, as they made their way to the doctor's office. What he might not have anticipated in his um, feverish uh, feverish wandering is that is that Lowen would emerge outside quite so soon. Um, Crazy. So they might see him stood out in the open with. Um, with like a pistol drawn, looking kind of drunk. 
then he, he would probably stop upon seeing them. Yep, low and you spot Wyatt, who has just spotted you. <laughs> and I look and uh, um Okay, yeah, Lauren kinda watches him and raises a hand to kinda wave a bit. He waves back but with like his hands are by his sides and he waves back with like the gun hand. <laughs> oh Pardon? in your head? Pardon? You have a gun in your head and you're waving? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. No, that's great. That's super cool. And then he puts his hands back down. Uh, and the yeah, Lauren's going to walk very quickly towards him because he's got a fucking gun in his hand and he's just <laughs> waving it around. <coughs> oh, no. Is there walking hey. towards him? I think... Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I think he points it towards them. Step back. Get back. Don't move Come any closer, man. Okay. What's going on? Just back up, yeah. I'm backing up. It's okay. Look, look, I ain't got anything. And they kind of lift their hands, like, so they're empty. No. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. He, like, steps forward. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, that's fine. Where's Arlo? He's seeing the doctor. Shit. It's too late, man. You need to go get what him. What do you mean? You need to go grab him right now. You hear okay, somewhere in the distance. You have to blow his... Someone's yelling. Oh, that guy's got a gun! <laughs> you need to put that down right Looks now, because it ain't me who's a problem, it's the others. Looks around, panic, like, puts his gun down. Shit. Good. Fucking, we need to go. No, you need to calm down. No, I don't a guilt, mean... A, a guilty mind is one who's going to run, okay? Now... What is going on? I ain't done nothing. I need to find Arlo, yeah. Arlo is fine. He's safe. Yeah, I know. So are you? Y yeah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take this, yeah? And so are you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take this, take this. What am I taking? <laughs> Like, bend down and, like, put the gun on the ground. Um, and then someone is approaching. Is that Harry? Yeah, it's Eddie. Eddie! Oh, no, you're going to get shot, bro. Rip. Eddie walks over <laughs> and he's got both his hands up and he's looking at Lowen and Wyatt. <laughs> is everything okay? He takes the gun towards Lowen. Yeah. Yep, we're okay. I'm gonna, like, holster the gun and, like, put it on my hip or something. You can't just wave a gun around. Why not? Watch this, yeah? Um, I... <laughs> Why it puts, like, his hands together and makes, like, a gun. No! <laughs> his fingers and points them at Eddie and starts shooting. Uh, Eddie put falls over hand. dead. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. We're about put, to leave. Put your Mom hands down, Wyatt. Feeling all right? Yeah, man. Have you been taking too much? No. Caps, nose. No such thing. I'm I think sober right now. High. I, I don't Take me think to the doctor, true. man. I'm sober right now. Don't call me high. Uh, Eddie is looking at Lauren and is like shaking their head. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get him somewhere else. Somewhere better than this. Do you want to help? 
Tell this guy to fuck off, man. I don't think he wants your help. I'm sorry. But, uh, Wyatt, you can see uh, that Eddie looks quite offended and a bit hurt. And he I think I made out with this guy while I was like, oh. He lowers his <laughs> hands and he kind of just nods a few times and then turns and backs off and walks away. Uh, oh, you've made an enemy today. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but am I? Oh, no, look, look, man. Look. And he, like, throws his arms in the air. It's a mess of everything. What do you mean by the head? I mean, look, I'm sure you can, when you've sobered up, you can go and apologise to him. I'm sober, man. Fuck you. Don't call me high again. Okay. When you're feeling a bit less fucking erratic, maybe. Hey, fuck you, I'm not erratic. You are very erratic right now. You are... You pointed a fucking gun at me. Ah, um, man. You said I was safe right now. Safe doesn't mean, like, free from my uh, judgment. That's not what safe means. I should have kept the fucking gun, man. This isn't gonna go well. What do you mean? Oh, Come on, it's... You need to... I don't know. Drink some water or something. I'm not you high, fuck get... you. Where's, where's Kazamin? I don't, I don't care if you're high or not. You need some water. You need to calm down. I need my book. Where's, where's Kaz? Gaz is uh, waiting to come, <coughs> waiting for all of us so we can go do some work to uh, get some more supplies and maybe get out of here. Okay. I need to go find Arlo. Not yet, you don't. I do. I know he's done. He alone, so. It's too bad. I gotta go see him right now. <clears throat> Wyatt, people have boundaries, and you can't just bulldoze your way through them. Why not? When it pleases you. Because just because you don't have your own boundaries doesn't mean you can't destroy the ones that others have. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Can't read chat because it's just Tai Cruz. Lauren, I can't do this with you here right now. What do you mean? We well, you can't do anything else. You're not going to see Arlo. What are you gonna do? I'm asking nicely, are you gonna... What, are you gonna just... Fight your way in there? What, are you gonna fight me? I mean, I think that's what you want. I'm not gonna give no, you a physical fight. No, I don't wanna fight you, man. Fight. I don't wanna fight you. Maybe I do. I don't want you to fight me. I don't wanna fight you. If they want you to fight me. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to have this argument every time we talk. We don't argue every time. Not every time, no. But it feels like it's happening more often. Like Nah, nah, it's not. You were there, man. What do you mean? In the hospital, you were there. 
You was the psychiatrist. No, that doesn't make sense. I'm not that good at talking through people's problems. You was the psychiatrist. And Cousin Hollow was the was the nurses. <coughs> okay. Why were you were you staff? What what were you doing in this hospital? The rats needed me to escape. What did they need me the to rats? escape from, man? Yeah, there's a being, there's a being. There's an all powerful dark being. It brings, brings about the about end times. times. And for some reason, you as the psychiatrist was the dark being in the hospital. Nah, but I think he put me there. It put me there. What did we discuss then? Learn your mother was there. That ain't funny. Nah, she's been there the whole time, man. You don't even know what my mother looks like. So how do you either. know it was her? <laughs> I think this Chan still be happy. No, no. <laughs> I'm no, can, can, I, um, can I can I give a can I give a, a like accurate as why it possibly can just drift in a flow and smarter? Oh no. Um. Uh, yes. Could you make me a history or, check, please? Or like the, uh, or at least you know, because like I think I back the boy. I think I'm being trolled. I'm not even sure if or if it is L- Lowen's mother. I'm pulling I, the gun. <laughs> I remember. Oh. Oh. I, think I can remember bits, but no, I can't really. I can't. I can't even. You remember... Ooh. You remember this woman because... You fucking killed her, man. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> standard. Uh, you remember she was tall, uh, lean, she was an elf, or at least a half-elf, you think. Uh, she had kind of dark brown almost like a uh, oh brown hair yeah like a rustic brown uh she had bangs it's not the person that you're thinking of i know who you're thinking of and that was rianora lowen's mom uh, who's named elowen um also had brown hair though uh right. and she looked just like a just a just a guy just just a normal person just you a know? guy just just a um, guy and I, I think that person has been described to me as wearing a lab coat on many Indeed. occasions. All of them were wearing lab coats yeah. in your like recollections. Yeah. Including Rianora. Right, okay. I described that. I describe uh, a white woman with brown hair in a lab coat who has been around all this time. And died in a lab coat. <coughs> Did you say died in a lab coat? Yeah. I remember it because I was there when she died. I remember your mother. This ain't funny, why? I, don't I remember know your dad what... too. But not much. It's just your mum. All the time. Your mum. All the time. I think you're being very cruel right now, Wyatt. I'm not, man. Swear down. Swear down. I was there, man. I know it. You were there? Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. And, like, you was the psychiatrist. And there was... There was rats there. Thing. No, that's not true, Wyatt. She tells me all the time, man, when I'm lying or whatever. And sometimes she appears out of nowhere. I think you do need help. I don't know how you made it onto this program when you're fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, trust me, trust me, trust me. Like, believe me right now, like, like, like 
I do need to get to the bottom of this. That's why I need to go see Arlo right now. You're staying away from Arlo. You don't get it, Mum. What don't I get? You there's just more at stake feel... here, you know. There's there's more at stake. It's all crazy. I need everyone to to like listen before it all goes jelly up or something. Why would I trust the word of someone who? Here's the two theoretical options here. You were there when my mother died, and in that case, I would like nothing more than to put my fucking hands around your neck, or you me kind of rise out of me. Oh, shit. And I need to walk away before I do something that I really would regret. Maybe not because it be you who suffers, but because it would fuck up everything in my life. You gotta stay away from Arlo. I don't care what you think is at stake. <sighs> oh my what? god, man. What happened? Tell me how did she die? Did you do it? Is that what you're gonna tell me? Yeah. <laughs> just like in the cave like that demon thing I keep making all these connections in my head but none of them make any sense but I can't talk to you about it man because I'm gonna get a bullet in my head but I can't <coughs> do this anymore I don't... Oh, yeah. oh, man. I don't know. Maybe... I need to go try to figure this out. And then he looks at Lowen. I sort of comes to... Sort of... Like, zoned out for a minute there. Oh, God. I can hear it again. Lowen. Hear what? It's the thing that's coming through. Don't want to take pills, man. That's I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can I can feel the bottom of this thing, but I just need. I just need to explain it to everyone. If you let me, maybe like behind a glass panel or something, because I'm gonna die before I get to tell you. I didn't. I didn't kill your parents yet. No, I didn't. I know I didn't. I didn't kill your parents, man. But I was there alone. I need to talk to you about it. Otherwise, because I can help you find truth, yeah, but you just got to trust me. You just got to trust me. You and Arlo have both got to trust me. And I can help you find the answers you need, but you just got to trust me. I promise. I know what I'm like. I know what I sound like right now, but please, you've just got to trust me for like an hour, man. And then you can... Put a bullet in my head if you want, but you just gotta trust me. Like I can, I can. If I can just, if I can just speak properly and lay it all out, like clearly, even with Kaz, yeah, I can just, I can make it all. I don't know. I can, 
you guys can piece it together. Um, I hate to say this, but I disconnected and I missed like a whole load of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what I heard last. Uh, it's Wyatt. It's Wyatt begging, begging. For, well, not begging for his life. I mean, he is begging for his life, but mm. uh, specifically begging. Um, Lowen to trust him to like give him a chance to uh, explain. Um, he also very importantly um, sort of claimed almost half talking to himself that uh, he he didn't kill their parents. Okay. <coughs> um. Hmm. And also, I don't know. I feel like it was all important, and lots of and lots of like, you know, I can help you put the pieces together. But please trust me, please, okay. creep, please. Yeah. Why the only reason? I don't... I don't want to kill you. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to kill you just yet, because... I need you, as well as Arlo and Kez, to get through this. Some semblance of this. So I can go home to my parents' home. I don't know what provoked you to tell me any of this. And I don't know if I care to its truth or not, um, it's still cruel. You understand that, don't you? No. Meet me right now if it's cruel, but I'm not, I need to tell you about this. I need to talk to you about this, whether it's cruel or not, man. Please, Lauren. I didn't My head hurts. I didn't even get to bury them, and you wanna exhume their ghosts, but um. Oh, Lauren, I didn't exhume their ghosts, Lauren. That wasn't me. Come on now. It wasn't. I swear. No. I don't want it. I don't know what you want me to say to you. I, I don't. Because you're not going to get my forgiveness. I don't want your forgiveness, man. I just need to tell you. Yeah, I have now. Unless you have more to say. I've, there's so much more. I just need you guys to piece it together. And then maybe it'll go away and stop. I can't explain properly right here, right now. Because it's very loud. And my head's hurting. And I think... I've pissed myself a little bit because I think I'm going to die stood here, to be honest with you. But I just can't. My brain isn't <clears throat> operating. We're not interrupting Arlo's appointment with the doctor for this. It can wait. Don't care how much it hurts your head. It'll wait. Learn. His family was there too. 
Yeah, there that's all... what uh, that's what I was charging you were gonna say. That there, there was all, there was all either working on a cure or working on, on something related to all of this. Yeah. And and there's something coming, Lauren. All right. There's there's something, something coming. I don't know what like this virus has got to do with it, but there's something. People are trying to like break through into this world. I swear, I know it sounds crazy, but I swear it's true. And you need to remember this name, yeah, Morgrim. You you need to remember that. And people like they're trying to summon him, and there's. Does that <coughs> does that name mean anything to me, Shan? I'll take a history. I'll take a religion. I'll take a any anything else you, in the world you want to roll for. <laughs> Persuasion. Can I be bold? Persuading me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'll roll history. I think. Well, it's more of a history than a... Ah, uh, yes, you can. Yo! Oh. Yo! <laughs> Roll the d12. Yo, okay. Delicious. Um, <laughs> You're thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking, you're thinking. The name is really sticking. It's like sticking, mm. like, on the inside of your mouth. You know what I mean? Like when you eat something really tacky. Morgrim. Mm. You have never heard the name Morgrim before. What you no. have experienced are strange happening, crazy happenings. You've seen... Yeah. You are, like, kind of mentally, if for a second, flung back to being in that secret back room where your dad was. Yeah. And you see that, that sigil appear again, like, on that map. And it kind of flashes in front of your eyes. Um, almost like your dad is with you as a ghost watching this, and he's, like, shoving it in front of your face. He's saying, this. And that's what you get with a 20. A 24, I should say. Was that the sigil that was, like... Because you said there was one that was protecting something, but then there was another sigil. So this is one that was on a map... Was mm -hmm. this one where you said, oh, this one has bad vibes? Like, yeah, you bad don't vibes. know why, it just has bad bad news bears. Okay. Bad news bears, um, bad vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I think throughout this whole conversation, I don't think Wyatt's seen Lowen look quite so... I don't know if angry is the right word, but maybe intentionally wanting to do... Like, wanting to do harm. Like... Every time Lowen has one tapped someone, <laughs> it's been like it's been like focused, and then afterwards there's been palpable grief on their face. I guess because it's like I'm doing something horrible, but this time, like the whole conversation, they've been looking like, yeah, I want to fuck you up. I don't know if I physically can because you're strong, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then, like, after this sort of little, I don't know, mind palace moment, um, Lowen, the tension doesn't leave, but some of the intent does, um, and they... Step a bit closer. Why, it, like, flinches? That was kind of like a final words kind of thing. Like, you know, here's what you need to know before pop, pop, bang. So he like, <laughs> like lowers his head, uh, <coughs> flinches a little. His like legs are shaking. Uh. I have a 
never felt so much rage <laughs> in my entire life. In a way, um, when my parents died even, there was no rage, there was just emptiness, so perhaps now you understand what you have provoked. But, in their memory, because, and I believe we've discussed this before, I do think something bigger is happening. I'm going to take a big old chance and hear you out. Oh. I swear, man, I just need to talk to everyone. Right, but like I say, we are not interrupting the appointment for that. And that's non-negotiable. I still have your gun, so... Do you want to sit down? Wait for no. him? Do you need to go piss? You said you pissed yourself, so... Nah, I don't need to piss anymore. Maybe you need to clean yourself up, because it stinks, frankly. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had my suit with me. <clears throat> oh, man, I really wish I had my suit. I'd love to put my suit on right now. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's just safe. It's just good. Yeah, I suppose I understand that. Where's Kaz? Can you get Kaz here? <laughs> I don't think Kaz is going to move from where he is. Yeah, He's but I don't, a... like, I don't want him stood there all session while this is going on. I mean, like, I don't want <laughs> this conversation with... Well, lucky for you, I think we're going to wait for Arlo to be done, bring him out, and then go walk to find Kaz. I don't Where's... think he'll be waiting much longer. I think... Okay. I can always go get him, but I don't really want to leave you alone. As much as I don't want to be in your presence, I don't want to leave you alone. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. At some point, I did dabble or wanted to, you know, I thought about being a psychiatrist, but um, I empathize too much with people. I think about their feelings too much, so I think uh, if I had to deal with someone who's an anxious mess, it would just make me an anxious mess, you know? Anyway. I was just going to sit down, like, on the floor. Rats are trying to tell me something. I swear. I 
I feel like you brought this up before. It's always rats with you, isn't it? There's rats everywhere, Lauren. This plague takes the whole world. It's just going to be the rats left. They see everything. Yeah? Hmm. They don't care about the bloom. <coughs> They're about. They're just strong together. They can, like, save the world or something. Even when we're gone. They're like our last hope, man. I swear, it's true. I swear, I swear. No one just kind of nods a bit, sort of like defeated, giving up. Just, oh, I'm going to agree with him while we wait. I can't tell you how like rap set stuff I've been over the last two months, guys. It's been insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of around this point that you notice uh, Arlo emerge from Mess Hall. If you're still here, Articus. He's. <laughs> Um, let me, let me just, uh, see something real quick. I just gotta see something. Uh, okay, so there's, I guess, a, a slight, um, maybe positive look on his face until, until he sees Wyatt. Oh no! <laughs> Lowen sat down with a gun. Yeah. Then he kind of, his face kind of, um, the the smirk, the smirk, uh, I guess fades just a little bit. Um, were you two waiting for me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let's see what uh, this. Kiss wants or is doing or we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, let's uh, go find Kaz. He d he does not actually look at White. Yeah, I think he looks at the floor. And he'll follow Lowen um, silently, but with, uh, I guess, a smile? Slight smirk? Smile on his face? Very nice. How'd it go? <laughs> I will say he makes he does not let Wyatt behind him though. Mm -hmm. He waits for Wyatt to go next. So while he doesn't look at Wyatt, he makes sure Wyatt goes after uh Lowen. He doesn't move. Yeah, I think it'll like uh I think it'll be like a long walk. Um Wyatt's head will be low and he'll be only following low on. About uh, ten minutes or so pass. Uh, Kaz, you hear the crunch of gravel stone of multiple, multiple shoes approaching. And then within maybe twenty seconds, you see Arlo, Wyatt, and Lowen rounding a corner. It's around midday. I think at this point he just like sits up and uh, like kind of stands up in the bed, sits up like leans against the cab of the truck and just if they're close to the door he'll walk to him, if he's close to the door he'll wait for them Nice, uh, you'll see Kaz as well 
Um, he meets you at this large glass door. I think I described it last week, but I'll do it again. Uh, the uh, Bitopian National Museum, of which does not have all of its uh, letters, um, is very a very low set building. Uh, as in, the ceilings don't appear, appear to be very high. Uh, it's got this kind of organic, kind of rounded shape to it, and it moves off into the kind of distance where you can't really see it. And paneling from all the way left to all the way right, as far as you can see, are like floor to ceiling, black uh, glass windows. Thanks for the flawless description as usual, DM. Yeah, anyway. It was, it was pretty shit. It was very impromptu, I'm sorry. No, oh, it was perfect. I'm just like, it's just anyway, onto something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're at the front. Um I'm making notes and why it definitely doesn't speak. Um why exactly are we here? Uh, well, our new handlers decided we need to clear this place out. So, you know, we could pay for, uh, the lodging and the food and the medicine. As me. We need to, like, Talk. All right. All those infected. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> God, that would be funny as fuck. Just like <laughs> your point, point at Arlo, like. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I'm with him. Um, is there like, um, I think Wyatt will like lean against a wall. Um, and uh, look like he braces himself for a second. And then he'll say to the group, I think, I don't know exactly when yet. But Lowen's parents and, and like people in Arlo's family died at the same time. And I, I was there. It happened at the fa at my family compound where we used to sell fish. Fish. Mm. How far is the door? Uh, I'm drawing it right now. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to give a map. Oh my god, this is a great map. I'm trying so hard. I <laughs> Fucking god, I'm such a dickhead. I <laughs> um, um, okay. I'm so, so sorry. Wait, this is the truck. Uh, this is the door. This one here. Um, you can drag us out now, yeah, or Because <laughs> right as he starts saying stuff about Arlo's parents, um, Arlo's opening the door. Delicious. I actually have a map for inside, funny enough, after I finish this one, so that's good. <laughs> no, it's Whoa. fine. <laughs> it's Bring so good. Um, you open the door, it's locked, so. He, he starts just trying to shake it open as, <laughs> as Wyatt keeps talking. That's why I like wistfully talks, just the fucking rattling of the door, bro. <laughs> Did I have a you say it was like check? a glass door? Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. It's like, He's going to do like, the funniest thing. It's like, I will clarify, it's like museum thick glass. So it's yeah, like yeah. fucking sturdy. But like, you know, you're pretty strong. So fucking... Between anyways. us, bro. Um, yeah. This door has like one of those speaking. linked, sil like not silver, but like the linked chains around it with like a padlock on it. Um, mm. Yeah. So you're rattling those. Pretty much. I look all inside. Look. Nothing to get this open. <laughs> look. 
I don't remember it very well. Yeah, and when I came to, there was lots of blood. I think I did right, it. He, he's going to break it. Oh. He's going to go attempt to break it. Make a strength check for me. <laughs> Is it a strength check or athletics? I don't know which uh, one. I mean, it doesn't matter. also works. I'd love to, I'd love to, uh, what limb are you using to fucking do this? Um, so he'd probably start kicking. Not <laughs> thinking about it, he, he would start kicking. You're kicking. Go ahead and athletics. I don't off. expect it to, like, I would even give myself disadvantage because I don't expect a kick would break. I thing. think you're emotionally distraught enough that you can do anything. You can do anything in the entire True. world. So go ahead. Okay, so I'll just I'll just do it at normal then. <laughs> yeah, just do it at normal. <laughs> Emotional oh distress buff. Yeah, you kick, a, you kick a solid... Okay, here's what you do. You're kicking at this. You're like, this thing's not going to give. Uh, you give it a final solid boot. Uh, you feel your foot go through the glass. And you hear, like, the shattering that is uh, this pane of glass. And you see this kind of this metal frame on the outside where you could probably, like, push more of the glass through, if that makes sense. You've, like, got, a, like, an indentation in it and you can just push it through. Mm-hmm. Oh, got, got it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fucking, <laughs> fucking hell. Very good. That was a great map, map while it lasted. Anyway, on to better and brighter and more delicious things. I missed things. it. I missed it already. Hey, bro. Happy in your skin and uh, bones. And... Yeah, I think as Arlo walks in, Cass just kind of looks back at Wyatt. What are we talking about? <laughs> I think why it stopped when the like the earth shattering sound of blast being kicked through um rang out you know, like wince. Um and he uh looks and says Um I don't think he wants to hear this, but I think he I think he should. Although I sort of don't really want to tell Arlo what to do. Loan basically knows everything at this point, Kaz. They can rely for you and Kaz looks just a little confused. Alright. Okay, so basically, I need you to hear me out, yeah? Just until I finish. Okay. I don't know when it was, but Lauren's parents and, and some of Arlo's family, um... I don't know who it was, but they 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 were where we were gathering fish and and selling them off. And I think they were doing some kind of science thing. And there was uh, there was an incident, and I think I had a gun, and I I don't remember doing it. I like I, I like blacked out, and I came to, and they was dead. Yeah. And like since like occasionally I see like apparitions of some of these people and ever since all this valid thing started it, it got a lot worse man and now like I have visions of stuff and something is trying to talk to me in in my dreams and there's this thing that's happening called Morgrim. And I think it's like trying to break through into, into this world from somewhere. 
and I think it has something to do with the bloom. And there's obviously like a weird reason we was all put together. We was all sent here with like Kira and that. Um, and like the goblin with the demon. I think I might have been the demon or something like it when it happened based on circumstantial evidence. Um, I, uh, I think you should, at least until, uh, if you'd like to get help, whenever we get a chance to be in actual civilization again, I think you should write these things down, then we could maybe go over them, provided the other two still want to talk to you. Yeah, man. And I get it, yeah. I don't mind what happens to me, but I just needed. There's obviously something going on, Kaz. And like, you guys at least you know, need to know. Because if, if something bad's coming, like, I don't know. Just need to be ready, I suppose. Or as ready as it can be. Um, So from inside the building, as Arlo steps through the door, uh, everybody can hear it. But especially Arlo, who is inside. Um, it sounds like something kind of crackling on a loudspeaker, like one of those old vintage ones. And it kind of crackles to life. And Arlo, you hear, H -h Hello there! Welcome to the Bitopia Natural History Museum. <laughs> it sounds like it's stuttering, like it's struggling to go. Kind of dust himself off. And I, he, he'll probably start stealthing or something. Like, he'll start crouching. I was going to say he looks back, but I'll be honest. <laughs> I think there's only one person he's actually okay with. That's so very he's, fine. So he's like, you know what? This on my own. So, I feel free to stealth. roll stealth. Very good <laughs> stealth roll. <laughs> As you kind of step moving. forward, um, my name is Jetsum. I'm very excited to be your guide for today. If anybody is following Alu, feel free to drag yourselves out. Yeah, I think I am. I think, like, at a certain point, Lauren didn't really want to listen to Wyatt, so they were like, yeah, I'm going in. Yeah, Cass would follow Lauren. Just kind of look at Wyatt and be like, alright, we uh, just gotta take care of this and then we can talk later, yeah? Ollie seems to have fucking vanished. <laughs> that guy's out of here. <laughs> <clears throat> Typical. Um, as you kind of move through, uh, you see this almost, like, haunted space, but it's, like, haunted by, like, nothingness in the way that nothing is disturbed or moved. There's uh, these kind of statues here that are made of stone. Uh, they have, like, this magical kind of aura around them, but they're oh. unmoving. It looks kind of half done in the way that, like, you know, there probably should be some kind of statue thing made here, and, like, these seem haphazardly just, like, left, and, you know, the walls aren't completely finished, and most of this room is, like, has the potential to be really, really nice, but obviously is unfinished. There's also, like, glimmering kind of artifacts that are down here. Um, is everybody gonna stealth? Or is it just Arlo? Yeah. I will. Um... As everybody goes attempt. to to stealth together, uh, the the PA has yeah. been activated and is like, what? let's go. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> oh, like yes. um, <laughs> can someone average that for me? I will give you a big kiss. 
Oh god, uh, uh, 11.5, I think. Delicious. That seems wrong. That seems very wrong. My guess is around 16. <laughs> but I don't- there's just vibes. It's a vibe guess. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm. Um, the PA system goes. Um, within these walls are the unique and expansive pieces of history that makes Bytopia. Bytopia. Please enjoy and remember, no flash photography. Children should remain in arm's reach at all times and stay behind the white lines on the floor to ensure the safety of our museum pieces. I'll s see you on the inside. And then it stutters and stops. There's a part of Arlo that wants to enjoy the museum. Aww. But, uh... Yeah, he... Like, it's it's just a brief thought. And then he uh, goes back to trying to find whatever it is that they're looking for, which I think Kaz said clearing stuff out or something. I think he said that. I could be wrong. Yeah. Clearing it out, I think, was the exact words used. So Ar Arlo's going to assume it means that they're infected, maybe. So he would try to, uh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> look for si look for signs. The king visitors. <laughs> um, you, you try and look for signs. Of I'm totally something. I don't. I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah. Uh, my what do you call it could work for that. No, you don't even need it. Roll a check. Uh, you see, this is kind of like a oh, okay. platformed area. Um, the main kind of exhibition hall seems to be through these bottom double doors down here. But there's like a, um, oh, let me click. But there's kind of a, uh, a kind of outside area that you can access through both of these side doors. Okay. He'd look for that. He'd check just to make sure that there's like nothing that he could stumble on or like trip over. Or Traps. maybe it's a trap. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, boop. Hey yo, uh, rolling like hot fire. Um, you do not see any booby traps. You do not see a single booby trap. Um, you do see uh these four little exhibition pieces are under a thick layer of glass. Um, it's hard to tell whether it's like a magically inclined glass, but you assume because these things are kind of glowing with this faint aura that this is probably like all of this is semi-protected by them. Um, however, as you walk down, you see inside are these kind of uh, very archaic um, magical artifacts. Do you think that Arlo would, like, stop to look, or is he just, like, passing by? That is a good question. Um... Damn. I don't know. I feel... Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I need to... Actually, yeah, just, like, look. It's just look... Like, it would be more of, like, he's walking by and he just looks briefly. Yeah, totally. Um, you kind of walk down to this lowered platform area, um, and you notice that, like, on the ground, like, kind of beneath you, where there's nothing, there's, like, a large diagram that's been, like, uh, drawn on the floor. Uh, like, formally in, like, a artistic way. <laughs> Not just, like, sketched by some guy. Um, 
And it's a kind of diagram of what Bytopia looks like. And I have a handout. I have a handout. Yo. I got a handout. Oh, snaps. I got handouts. I got handouts I on handouts. Hand I love that. Hand up for the handout. Handouts for the handouts that we're handing out. Pop up. Handouts Pop up. Squared. Um, so that's what it looks like. I don't know if anybody ever uh -oh. thought about it, but that's what Bytopia looks like. Oh. Which is really interesting, uh, right? Oh, yeah. So like, you're always looking up and seeing some shit. Um, the PA voice actually kicks <laughs> up again as you like walk towards where this diagram is on the floor, and you're like looking around at the other artifacts as well. <clears throat> and it says, Bytopia is part of the upper component of the outer planes in the modern cosmology model. Our neighbors are Mount Celestia, known as the Seven Heavens, and Elysium. Bytopia is made up of two planes, known as Dathian and Shirok. Unlike anywhere else in the world, our planes face directly into each other. In other places, you would look up and just see the sky. Whereas right now, you might be used to looking up and seeing your friends above. And then, uh, as you kind of move around some of the other glass pieces, it'll continue on. Bytopia was founded by the Legacy families thousands of years ago. Some even say the Legacy families were the first descendants of planetars, or angels. Whether that's true or not, we certainly know they are hard workers. Families Blackwood, Ooh. Prospera, Wildwander, Risevale, Marevna, Bancraft, Fortescue, and Anchor worked hard together to see Bytopia flourish. And flourish it did. And then it fizzles out. <laughs> and flourish it did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I theoretically, I half wonder if you like did a handstand and then I don't know, cast jump or something. Could you <laughs> jump to the other plane? Who knows? Why not? Why don't you know? <laughs> like shit. Um, <laughs> you're walking around. You see that this is a. Oh my god! Do you remember that time I spent like an hour describing things? It's gonna happen again. I'm ready for yeah. it. Um, it looks like a silver multi-ringed um, hourglass in this like kind of silver interlaying brackets with these small runes on it. It almost looks like a time turner Ooh. from Harry Potter. And it's um, each of these like glass. <laughs> each of the glass like little pedestal things have like a small bronze uh, like what do you call them? Uh, epigraph? No. When it's like written on the thing, what it is? A plaque. There we go. A plaque. Um, and it says artifact name, and then it says life turner, and then it says origin, and it says anchor family, legacy family, and then it has like a long description that I can read if you want. Um, so there's a life turner there. Down here, it looks like an alarm clock of some kind. Uh, it's all of these are glowing with magical prowess and shit. Um, up here is not a uh, clock. <laughs> it's not a clock. But what it is, is a piece of armor. Vintage armor. Ooh. Very, very vintage. Oh, vintage. It's in fact a breastplate armor. And it's a, kind of a mixture of what looks like uh, silver and gold. And it's got a kind of, on its chest, it's got like a uh, little clock motif. So that's cool. And then down here, this is not a large red clock, but it looks like a kind of small golden amulet with two hands that are praying together. And like maybe a small sun. Oh. Ew. Yeah. And that's what you see. <laughs> that's my blurb done. And as the player wants to look at all of these things and touch all of yeah. them, Arlo walks past the room. No. Delightful. I'm so sorry, the fucking DM has prepared this fucking, like, world building excursion. And we're like, ah, oh, fuck this. Fuck this. We're all, like, depressed. I want to stay outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I, I understand. I but, don't feel bad I for mean, you. you know, just do hey, what you want to do. Other people could abs I'm other just people can absolutely take it. I'm just taking it all in, you know. Like, 
I think... I don't know, museums cheer me up, so I think museums cheer Lowen up in a way. Although... <laughs> seeing <laughs> Alex's name kind of made them a bit sad. <laughs> Aww. Oh. Um, I'm actually gonna that pop them guy. up because I'm I'm smart and I did prep sometimes. Ooh. Ooh. I really like museums. <laughs> <laughs> museums are the best, bro. Yeah, mm, I true. Get I get it. Um, Guys, I don't like it. I don't like it. What don't you like? I don't like. Life. You're gonna. You're gonna call me fucking crazy again. Mm. Right. I should say no. I can't say this in character, but no, I don't. I don't know. No, I'm tripping. I'm just tripping. I'm just tripping. I'll tell you after the game, so I don't take up any time. I mean, but, um, is it to do with the amulet with the fucking sun? It was no. actually, but that is sus too. The amulet yeah. health. It's like, Kremit, hello. I didn't know that was the oh, end, but out of all of them, that's the one I wanted even before I saw what it did. Dude, that is that is Kremit's amulet. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's Kremit's amulet, 100%. Oh, no! <laughs> it's it's 100%. Um, Kremit had an amulet of health. That is 100%. There's no way. that That's oh, his. No. That's his oh, amulet. No. Like, I'm not. Like the first thing I was just I was just being like schizophrenic. That is Kremix Amulet. <laughs> I'm sorry for stopping the session, but like I'm so fucking mind blown by this. Um, she's put Kremix Amulet. That is like that's the one. I, I'm. I, need to I mute knew myself. something bad was gonna be here, <laughs> and it's fucking Kremix shit. <laughs> um. Um. I think that's yeah, Kremix Armor stuff. as well. That's not a certain, but I'm, I think that's Kremix armor. It looks like. And soon we're gonna walk in, and there's dead Kremix. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks. It looks like the the description. I think fits his way. Although, mind you, if it's a full set of armor, then. But yes. Kremix had a plate like that. Time um, warden. Ooh. That is most. Uh, I'm sorry. That is. That, she's taken my character's amulet off. <laughs> <laughs> You say that as if she's stolen it. Like, I don't, I don't, I... Excuse me, where is Kremix items? I'm so fucking, but that is like, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's my character's amulet, dude. <laughs> Why is it in a museum? <laughs> <laughs> you don't hate it. Don't worry about it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you donated it against amulet. your will. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> this game, man, it actually drives me crazy. <laughs> I think you're going. You're. You're. You need help, bro. Swear down. I've. I've been telling Chandler like, this game has been fucking my brain. I'm like, that is just. That is just fucked, up, dude. That is just. Uh, that's. <laughs> I keep. I keep like opening the handout and scrolling down to the sun. <laughs> Being like, <laughs> <"That's a fucking laughs> amulet. That's a fucking amulet. I'm so sorry. I'm so like overwhelmed. Maybe it's like <laughs> a family thing, you know? Maybe no, bro. Else that's it. bro. I know it's, this girl. That's somebody yeah. else had it. She's oh, it. So <laughs> and somebody else had it. It's alright, man. <laughs> go back yeah. to the hospital. You need to go back. <laughs> 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 You need to go back. <laughs> now, now I'm like, which one of these? Which one of these is orange, bro? Right. So we should just orange. take all of them. But I'm too depressed to think about. Yeah, it. in it, I'm like, <laughs> I also, I also <laughs> kind of don't want to rob a museum. I don't want to hear anyone complain about not getting armor if I'm putting armor right in there, and everyone's too depressed to take it. I don't want to hear a goddamn <laughs> thing about it anymore. <laughs> That's your I think Take it you know what, the thing is, you know what yeah I think Maybe like I think Wyatt would usually love to rob a museum right I think he would be all over it like he would fucking love it but like right now with like if he starts putting on big heavy plate armor like bulletproof plate armor like when he's 
<laughs> I just no. think it looks. I just need to. I need to say. I think it's so fucking funny that, like, I imagine. <laughs> okay, Wyatt with like a black hoodie, wearing breastplate with a hoodie, <laughs> wearing like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like chinos. <laughs> Wait, who pinged? Oh. I didn't. Today. <laughs> Today. Anyway, pinged? that's what you see. Yeah. Oh my that's god! What's going on. Oh no! The life turner is Una's dude. I bet if someone tunes to that, he's gonna get pawns. That's Una's. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, it's definitely not the necklace. I don't know, anyway. Una doesn't exist, so... That's true. Um, uh, are we moving yeah. straight <laughs> through this room to the next room? Yeah, only... <laughs> only can, I, can I say that, like, can we come back for this? Yeah, totally, do Whatever you like. That maybe if, like, people are happier in, like, putting on armor when, like, in, like, times of conflict and I've just... Like, maybe it's not a sus... But yeah, Arlo, yeah, Arlo is absolutely just moving right on through. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. We'll be back. Oh we'll my god, we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, nice. Ah, okay, you move into the uh, grand exhibition hall. The grand exhibition hall. The PA tries to study to live, but it really, you can't really understand it. It kind of just skips over and it fizzles out again and dies, kind of. <laughs> Um, but you move into the Grand Exhibition Hall, and that's nice. I have handouts on handouts here. Delicious. Yay! Yay! Some things I don't have handouts for. I guess you'll have oh, to find shit, out. Oh shit, there's more stuff. <laughs> there's so many things in this room. Oh, nice. Oh Kaz, God. if you want to do Denise. anything, boo-boo. Pookie, if you want to do anything, you just let me know. Because you're, <laughs> you're holding up. He, you're holding he, everything here. He's probably, he's probably just waiting. Like, yeah, we're good. It's nice. Nice. Um, you can drag yourselves out to the south. That's where you're emerging from. Uh, the hall is large. It feels very grand. It's got red carpet, oh, although it's covered in dirt, and some of the tiles are cracking. Um, most of the Ugh. stuff is undisturbed, though. Seems like someone just kind of um, put a lock on this place and bounced. Um, no, no shot. I would like to look around. And see if there are any like rat holes. Rat holes. <laughs> Inspecting for rat holes. Uh, go ahead. Make yeah, a like, rat hole check. Bottom, uh, what would you like? I'm like looking at like the corners of the, you know uh, of the of the wall, like at the bottom. Yeah, totally. Is go that, ahead and make a rat good? check. Oh, oh goodness! <laughs> I'm very distracted. You've you used them everywhere, but also nowhere. Yeah. Oh God, that is true. That's scary. Don't like that. So, so far, has it just... It, it just seems like nothing's been here, right? Yeah, seemingly. Seems like quite quiet. You walk up on the left, you see a wonderful depiction. Or are you just moving through? Are we just breezing through? Because I also don't care. I'm looking. Oh, no. I'm yeah. looking. Did you see so many looking, nice yeah. depictions? Uh, on the left. Yay! Here. This is time for the mass distribution of things. Woo! On the left, Arlo, as you walk up that left set of stairs, you see a picture. It's a very well-done oil painting. Uh, it says Rise Veil table Tablelands. Ooh. Right, I'm sorry, guys. Whoa. The name Rise Veil is sus. It's sus. It's sus. And then the next one. Like... The next one! To the south. One of them's gonna be like a picture of Wyatt or something. A picture of Wyatt. <laughs> Wyatt planking. Yeah. Uh, there's one that's titled <laughs> Pearl Glades. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't Does... that. Oh. That's yeah. the town we were at. Yeah. Uh huh. Indeedy, deedy. Uh, one is titled Seraphim's Rest. Oh. 
Ooh. And the southern one, the one that's closest to y'all, like Lowen and Olo, uh, says Iron Ridge. Oh. Yeah, bad news, guys. It's bad timing. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm, like, covering it up. <laughs> uh, as you walk up, Olo, um, you kind of maybe stop and look straight ahead down this line of glass boxes. Um, this first one kind of catches your eye. Here. It looks like a small ornate lamp. Um, on the right hand side, Wyatt, you've got a bunch of portraits as well. You're not missing out. Ooh. From bottom to top. Oh my god, dude. I'm nervous. This is fucked up. I wish Roll20 had that correct, thing yeah. where you could have like the things on the screen and people can like click it if they're interested. It bothers me so Ooh. much they don't have it. Uh, it says Low Tide. There's one just next to it that says Yeoman. Oh. Guys, what's Yeoman? That's uh, the place where your sister's at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, our hey. sister was at. Uh, yeah. There's one north of that. <laughs> It's called Golden Hills. And then there's one up the north, and it's called the Northern Wastes. <coughs> and I've paid special attention to detail in that all the pictures vaguely match. <laughs> that's all. That's all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, that's all the portraits on the wall. Um, wait, you also come up the side of the stairs that you're on, uh, and you spot this book. Uh, you spot it mostly because it has a giant fucking pentagram on the front, um, but the, there's, like, oh. text on it, uh, and in all oh. capital letters it says, Calendar <laughs> of Necrobell. <laughs> oh, no! I don't have it on me, I'm at work. They swap my shifts. Um, without asking me. Fucking guys, I received um the calendar of Necrobell in the post. Oh shit. It's yeah. it's it is it doesn't bode well. It really doesn't, guys. It's it's the most horrendous fucked up reading. Let me find I described it. Chan, do you have a copy? Like, I wish that I could read it out. Um, <laughs> I, I can go find you a copy. I can indeed go find you a copy. I would I would love to just show the guys what I said about it. It's, I can go it's... find you a copy. Fucked up if true. <laughs> uh, I did um make the PDF myself, the way that it looks now. Actually, I might be able to go grab it from where I'm <laughs> And I'll send it to you. Ooh. Um, but yeah, you see that. So, everybody feel free to move as you so wish. While I do this. Mm. I said to Chan... Seriously, that was fire reading. It just gets worse and worse. You're what? like, how many, how, how many times can they brutally and horrifically describe the end of days and it keeps going? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> what <Yeah>. the fuck? <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> why is he's this... Doesn't really know much about it, but then recalls that Arlo. I think I think I know that Arlo was able to read the weird, horrifying text that we found in the Goblin Lair. Mm -hmm. So I look at Arlo, and then look away. I don't really want to ask him to translate <laughs> evil right now. When you look at Arlo, I think at this point, 
Arlo is starting to get caught up in it. The wonder of the museum. It's distracting him. Aww. So he's probably actually just looking at stuff. He it's probably sweet. actually he probably actually stood up. <laughs> like he was he's all stealthing and everything. Yeah. Now he probably stands he's probably stood up looking at stuff. Um actually I've got um the voice of a of an eldritch world ending force in my brain. Do, do I recognize the name Necrobell? That's all. Uh you don't think you do, and I won't make you roll. Okay. Here it is in PDF form, ready to go. Guys, it's the coldest shit ever. It's fucking oh. I'm just sending it to you though. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh. Um, I would love to. Is it is it like in glass or anything, Chan? Is it like it in is display? indeed? It is indeed in glass. Um, <laughs> okay. The really interesting thing is, uh, it seems like Wyatt is like hyper focused on this tome, which is weird because like Wyatt doesn't really, <laughs> not to generalize, but Wyatt doesn't read a lot. So I don't know if anybody else is noticing this of what's going down. Um, Lowen, you have that map, right? Like the one that Lee gave you. Um, you would probably yeah. notice at some point, uh, like there's like a small bit of scribble on the back, like, um, she's giving you kind of directions of where to go. Um, she also writes in the bottom corner, if you see an orb, could you bring it back for Rot, please? And then circles it. Can I look at the orb? <laughs> yeah, look at the orb. It's right there. <laughs> I'd like to ponder the orb, please. Mm. Very good. It's typically an orrery. Orrery. An orrery. Um, you look at the orb. The orb looks at you. Um, what's Kaz? Uh, I think Kaz is trying to figure out if there's alarms on the glass in the other room. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you uh, reckon there is. I won't make you roll. Okay. He moves on. Like, whether that's something you want to face up to? Hey, none of my business. Maybe on the way out. <laughs> no, yeah. But not on the way in. I'm just going to dump Ooh. everything. Is there anything written about this orb on the, there, like, on the plaque? There is nothing written on the plaque about this orb. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, that's fun. No. Hey. <laughs> this is fucked up, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, probably like, 15 minutes after you guys walk in, Cass walks in, just leans on the railing. Oh, man. I don't want to give Rot this orb. I feel like he's going to do something bad with it. Brian is watching the stream right now, cackling. <laughs> I wish. Oh, dude. Um... I would like to know if anybody is coming up to be beside Wyatt while he's looking at this book. Question mark. No, I take that as a no. Um, the really interesting <laughs> thing that would have been revealed if anybody else was up there looking at it with him is that uh, to anybody he's like else... Drooling. It, it doesn't he's like actually... drooling, guys. He's like frozen. <laughs> it doesn't actually say the calendar of Necrobel to anybody else. Uh, to anybody yeah. that might fall their eyes upon it, it says the Tome of Tezera Marevna. Oh no. I feel like I recognize that name, but I don't know. So that's interesting. Moving quickly at all. <laughs> this is the last handout as well. This one. We should just take everything. Yeah, can we take everything? Hey, I'm not going to stop you. The question is whether you can carry everything. I think I can. I think, <laughs> I think you can. 
Dude, think... dude. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's everything. Did someone, did someone have this? Do I remember someone having studded leather armor and fire resistance, or am I just, like, tripping? Oh, Lauren had studded armor, but I don't know what it did. I'm, I think I'm tripping. Yeah. There was also this one as well. Oh no, come back. Bro. No. Um, Dan, do these... Like, do they... Do, do these uh, things, like, you know, like the... Uh, they have, like, display names, right? Like, the sheer mm -hmm. lamp is... Like, it has the... Okay. Some of them don't, though. Some of them, like, I haven't been finished. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Oh, okay, never mind. I couldn't figure out what book this was from, but it's Bigby's. Mm-hmm. Like, BPGOG, what the fuck? I think at this time, I was probably on this side now looking at the pictures. <laughs> Could everybody make me a, a perception check, please? Uh oh. Come on, give me, give me that zero. Come on, oh. give me that zero. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit, dudes. <laughs> Ominous music in the background. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, hey, what's your guys' oh. excuse? I'm at a negative. <laughs> <laughs> he probably stops and lingers on the yeoman. Uh painting I don't remember which one was the omen painting if it was the, the this one I think it was that one or that one or that one whichever one he's just kind of staring at it ADD, baby. <laughs> I think with a shake of his head, he probably continues. Wait, that's it? Nothing from the perception rolls? Oh, God. No, let's see shit, bro. You're all too low. <laughs> let's see nothing! Is Wyatt still staring at the book? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's around now Lauren gets concerned and look, goes over. <laughs> See something interesting, or um, yeah, no, actually, uh, I'm very sorry, I should have asked this before. Mm. Does the does the front page look like it does on the PDF? Um. Uh... As in, like, the the first page of the PDF. The first page of the PDF is the first page of inside the book. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Like, you know how it's got that fancy... They always have those fancy-ass, like, origin starting yeah, pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And on the, like, on the the page that's visible, it just says the, the calendar of Necrobell. Yeah. Why it, like, says it under low under his the calendar of Necrobell. 
And when I look at it, it doesn't say that, no, right? It doesn't say that, bro. <laughs> Lauren looks at Wyatt. Looks at the book. And... <laughs> I just want you to stop saying weird shit all the time. <laughs> 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 it's not my fault, man. No, I'm I'm just messing. Um is that is there any writing on the cover of this book? Yeah, it says uh what does it say? It says uh, I mean it's got like a pentagram on the front and then kind of embossed <laughs> like you know, one of those fancy notebooks. Uh it says Tazera mm. Marevna. Hello, as, as you're walking up, see the end of the display. Uh, you hear something scuttling, crackling. You hear like hot, heavy breath. Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't even going to the next room. I was just going to chill right here. <laughs> I was just hanging out. Yeah, that's what you hear. This man is, like, celebrating Loki. He's not infected and he's about to get infected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I perceive the breathing? <laughs> you definitely fucking perceive it. It's right on top of you. Um, go ahead and roll me a perception check. And could you let me know what the number is, Plus 16. Delicious. With 16, uh, you notice there is a kind of entity. It's large. It's reptilian. It's winged. Uh, within about half a second, you look up and you say to yourself, oh shit, that's a fucking dragon. Uh, you see oh, saliva, what? thick mucus dripping from its face, and that's what's kind of splattered on your shoulder. Uh, it's clinging to the roof. An interesting tidbit that you notice with the 16 is that it kind of flickers in and out of, like, existence. No, like, like no. Almost like TV static. Um, okay. <laughs> so that's good. Ruffle? <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking up slowly, putting on his. I think he's probably taking out the gun instead. Slowly, slowly, it's watching you. Uh, you see, it's kind of uh, the the lower half of its jaw and that like reptilian double chin or triple chin kind of rattles really softly, like a like a really large rattlesnake. Um. He's trying to get someone else, <laughs> else's attention, <laughs> but <laughs> he's trying not to. He's not trying to make a sound either. But he's trying to like. Oh no! Ash just like got his headphones in, bro. Uh, it hits the ground and it's heavy and like fucking thick, and you feel its claws kind of sketch down into the carpet and like scratch the the boards below. Um. Everybody can see it. It's definitely fucking there. It's definitely a thing. In fact, it's oh, time. Oh no! <laughs> In fact, it's time. It's the time that we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> we should put on that time traveler's arm. Uh, no, no, stuff. no. <laughs> you wanted to be depressed? You can suffer the repercussions. It's true. It's true. Thanks, Wyatt. Hey, I'm not the one skating out right now. Okay, this is Arlo's episode. I think <laughs> you are. I could be. Creaking out on the interstate. All right, let's party, boys. We've turned cutie pie down. It's time to use actual medieval music. Hello, your first oh, act. Yeah. Um, he is going to. Uh, let's see which one's better. Uh, 
actually, he, he takes the gun out, but then he holds his hand out instead. And, uh, as that, you know, the wrappings kind of glow with a blue um, light, it shoots out and it attempts to hit. Yo? I don't know if that it is. hits. Yeah, it hits. Hey, there's three colds. <laughs> nice. Hey, nice. I see a bit of and frost. He's gonna see run... its wings. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna run and back here and hide behind. <laughs> yep, the plant thing. Um, I think it does something. What does rear frost do? Slows them down or something? There you go. Oh, ah, delicious. Um, Wyatt, you see Arlo <laughs> throw a snowball and run away. What do you try? Uh, turn, like, I hear, I hear a noise. Um, turn, like, instinct. I see a snowball. I assume Lowen had something to do with it. And oh. then just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. Uh, 35 feet, uh, edge of electric increases my speed by 5 feet, and I perform a virtuous charge, I think. Delicious! Um, which I don't think I've gotten... Actually, I've done it once, uh, so the edge of electric has a feature where if I move mm -hmm. uh, 10 feet in a straight line towards mm -hmm. a creature yep. while I attack, um, and I hit it, it takes an extra... Oh, I get advantage on the attack, um, if it hits, it's an extra 2d8 radiant damage. Yeah! That sounds like the edge. Let's get it. So yeah, just instinctually whirl around, um, sucked out of the vortex that was this this calendar, and as I, as I charge up to the beast, like the, the, the halberd begins to glow. Yeah! Uh, you have advantage? You want to all right, I'm a yeah, I'm a crit fishing fiend. Yeah. Hits. Um, hits. Um, I can't re-roll, but I can roll. Clark, that. Yeah. No, it comes cleaving down over the creature's back. Uh, you see, it kind of buckles beneath the weight of the halberd. Uh, you feel like you've made an indent, but it's not that perturbed. It mm. turns its head. And it's like kind of black slitted eyes focus on you. That will be my turn. The light? Very good. All right. Let's have a look at something really quick. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. Very good. Very good. All right. I would like Arlo and Wyatt to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. The DC is 13. Yo. 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 Yeah. Um, boys, um, the dragon draws in a, a large breath and you see its lungs inhale and then it releases this like shattering roar and the, the glass kind of shakes the entire museum's foundation shakes the portraits rattle but nothing visibly happens Casimir uh, I think Cass is just gonna kind of go oh hell uh, yeah. alright you got this you got this low one and you are oh. inspired hey. and he hides behind the railing nice oh. Um, would you like to use your action to dodge? Uh, might as well. Hmm. Delicious. <coughs> um, Lon looks at this dragon. So, oh, that's not good. Um, let's see. <coughs> I 
they are going to... Try and use produce flame so they kind of um, rub their hands together and get some friction going and summon up a little ball of flame which they throw overhead at the uh, dragon thing. Delightful. Dex 32? No, just an attack roll of 11. Uh. Uh, it does hit it, but it doesn't seem to produce any effect, as in the AC's 12. Ooh, okay. Shit. Uh... Okay, um... I'll use the inspiration for something that matters a bit more. Um, that's my turn. Arlo. Okay, um, oh boy, all right, um, <laughs> all right, okay. Mood. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, um, all right. It, all right, so the thing's head is not, like, it's big, but, okay, all right, so... I have something, I can't remember if the, uh, I have like a jacket or something in my webbing or yeah. something. It's like a, a black something. I, I don't know what it is. I, I can't remember what it is. Right. Nice. I'm, bl I'm blanking. Arlo's going to pull that out. And um, he, he takes a few breaths. Um, if anything, he feels like Lowen would would be there for him, and that's enough to make him do the thing. Oh. So he he's gonna run five, ten with like the jacket in hand. Yep. Uh, fifteen, twenty, and he's gonna do like a running jump onto the thing with the mm -hmm. jacket to cover yep. its eyes. Okay. Okay, cool. So he's uh, gonna try and like jump on top of it to cover it. I'll do a contested athletics if we could. It's but stupid, but you know. Whatever, I like man. it, it's a vibe. Oh, damn. Yo, yeah, you get on there. You're on the back of it. You're wrapping your jacket Yo. or tarp around its eyes. Um yeah. you think you've got it he pretty well. To yeah, you think this thing's probably blinded, which actually is going to give advantage to anyone that attacks it. And that's what he does. Fuck yeah. Wyatt, what you doing? Yeah, this thing, uh, its head turns wildly as it tries to unblind itself. And that's when I strike, bro. That's when I strike. That's when the edge of Alexa. Is that rolled with? No, it's not rolled with advantage. It should have done. The sheet's a bit Ooh. strange sometimes. Hit! It is. Hit. Oh, wow. Delightful. Yeah, clean shot. Clean shot across the back. Just wailing on this thing, trying to, trying to dig my blade as deep as I yeah. can. Yeah, you see uh, one of its kind of ribs cracks beneath the halberd. You feel it dislodge. Um, you see there's like this strange like black, what you would expect to be blood, but it actually looks like the inside of a videotape. You know that like black string stuff, like film? That's what starts yeah. seeping out almost, mm. or pummeling out. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Oh yeah, is Anything this thing else? just gonna like flicker out? Um, I would just like to ask you if this, uh, if this thing is like flickering in and out of reality for, for anyone else. Like, is it all of us? That's my it? answer as a DM. Oh. Is what? That's my answer as the DM. But like, if you want to ask other people, <laughs> that's also fine. Oh. 
Is this flick? Oh, uh, does this thing look mad to anyone else? No. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's on top of it, trying to. <laughs> okay, uh, and then that's my turn. Right, nice. The thing is gonna ram its head with Arlo on the back into this glass. Ouch. Um, Ouch. I'm gonna roll it as an athletic check, but I'm gonna use the bite if the damage works. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. 20? Ouch. Uh, what, for like my armor class? Um, uh, yeah, that hits. actually makes sense. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um... You hit this glass, you feel it shatter beneath you. You're gonna take six psychic damage, but I reckon you also take a little bit of damage from the glass. Fuck, mo. Yeah, you take a Jesus. nine piercing damage as this thing kind of shoves you through this glass thing. However, this rapier is in here and is now accessible. You also hear in the distance as the alarms start to go <laughs> but that's good um I don't know if I let go in the process because um, I'm, I'm bloody would you make me so a athletics check to hang on we'll see if this thing's still blinded I don't, I don't even know if I want to hang on <laughs> oh if you want to let go you do your boot <laughs> no hell yeah so let's do another athletic check against that. You never know. Yeah, you're still on if you want to be. Um, yeah, I'll be on. You don't sound that excited about it. <laughs> no, there is no pressure. I took more than half my health. <laughs> um. This is the sword on the ground beside you, by the way. No pressure, just so you know. Oh yeah, no, that's cool. Cool. Uh, it is also not blinded anymore. Casimir. Uh... Cass is gonna stand up. Cass is going to... Uh, alright, why you got this. Uh, and you are now inspired. Oh, yeah. Nice. Then going to crouch and take the dodge action. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> Moral support. Lowen. Um. Oh, yummy. Oh, dear. Um. Lowen sighs a little bit and takes the rifle from their back and, uh, Lines it up and takes a shot. Sixteen? An absolute hit, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> you take um, a, a large portion of its wing off, and you feel like it is bloody. Mm. Yay. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Um, that's my turn. Hello, you're still on top of this thing. Um, screw it. He ro he rolls off of it. Nice. To land on the ground. <laughs> nice. Yeah. As he's rolling off, um. Uh, his hands go in his pocket real quick, and then when they emerge, it's the, uh, you know, the knucks, the brass knuckles. The knucks! The dusters! He's got the, the dusters up. The cestus. Hey, I'm walking and, uh, in. He's gonna, uh, swing once. Yeah. Um, Hit. Is that? Okay, cool. And nice. Then, uh, bonus action. He's just gonna do uh, another hit. Um, it's an MMA brawl. Um, this thing. 
Cause I hear beefing. Schmack, schmack, left, right. Push, usha. Yeah. And then with mobile, he's going to Yeet. kind of. He's gonna scoot back yeah. out. Five, ten, fifteen. He's gonna ski at all. Twenty-five. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, your jacket slash top is ripped on the ground. However, yeah, I know. it That's was good. very cool, yeah. <laughs> and it was very much worth it. Um, Wyatt. It's my time. Wyatt watches Arlo run, looks around. He's kind of fucked up. Um, he skirts around for I don't know, no reason really. It's just fun. Um, and yeah, he's gonna try to bring blade down on the beast again and hit it and deal six damage that I will re-roll uh, for 14. Let's fucking go. Yo! You got his smacking. I am. And then I'm going to smack even more. Um, go on. Because if I'm right, I think this resets on a short rest. Yes, it does. So I will surge my action. I will make it surge. Yo! And then I will bring the blade down again because this thing is pissed. Okay. okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, that is my turn. <laughs> no, no, no. Here's my hot take, yeah? I feel like... Look, this pisses me off to no end. I feel like fighters should get advantage if they use their fucking action surge and if they use their fucking indomitable ability. It pisses me off to no end when you use an action surge and it does absolutely fuck all. It makes it, me it, so it, upset. So please, not I'm, even as pity, just as a personal gripe, take another, okay. take it at advantage. It's stupid. Who am I to say no to you and put it ah! like that? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I can do nothing for you, Oh my like. god. <laughs> no, no, I Bro. thank you. Genuinely thank you. I can do nothing for Damn. you. I've heard so many times, like, it's like, like, a, it's like a rage-induced, like, just hammering away, and eventually, you know, when you're expending that much energy, you're gonna miss eventually. Yeah. <laughs> they just do be like that sometimes, you know? They do. They do. Where'd my turn lock go? Oh, there it is. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to? Uh, no. That will be my turn. Thank you. Delightful. This thing is on its last legs. It is pretty much dead. However, it is going to draw in a final rattly. I'm long... so sorry. I have a party inspiration. Click mark. Fine, use it. Sorry. True, you do. Yeah. What is it? A D6. It's a D6. Sorry. Come on. If you get one, you're oh! banned. You're banned. <laughs> you're banned. You're banned. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, anyway, it draws a big inhale. Rattly lung, more of that weird videotape spilling out of all of its wounds. It is going to require a wisdom save from Lowen, Arlo, and Wyatt. Okay. Did he see 13? Yo, 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 oh. yo, yo. Oh. yo. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, the fact that I passed the first time was. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Stuff. You, Arlo starts to look around oh. and he starts to think that other things inside the museum are coming alive. The pot plant starts to oh, kind of no. look like a snake. Uh, the portraits start to kind of come alive. The sword on the ground starts to kind of twist and turn. Uh, could you actually? <laughs> it's the start of your turn. So we're chilling. That's what it does. Casimir. <laughs> Uh, I think Cass looks up, sees this thing kind of on its last legs. Um, I think he'll just kind of look at it and not even like say anything. Just kind of just like think to himself, like, that's all you can really do, really. <laughs> it's so funny. What is oh. going on? In the House of Commons, I oh swear to God, God bro. bro. Man, <laughs> Danny, please stab me in the chest, Lowen. Um, fuck it. I need to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use produce flame. I'm trying to conserve yeah. some bullets, so smart. Oh, um, like. Yeah, I know Hair. I'm inspired. Just skims that... it. It hits? Yeah, just skims it. 
The AC is 12. Okay. Okay. But can I add inspiration to this? Yeah, you can, because it's magical damage. I Excellent. don't know if I have that yet. I think that's a higher Oh, one. really? Oh. Okay. Ooh. Let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. I thought it was just a rule. Like a Tasha's rule. You are correct. Yeah. Oh, so I can? Yes, yes you can. Here. Boop. Yay! Got her! Okay, I'm gonna add my d6. Six. Delightful! Uh, there's a burst of kind of torrential flame somewhere along its chest, maybe in one of the <coughs> axe wounds that the halberds delivered to it. Uh, it starts to kind mm. of flare up, and this thing stumbles over. Um, it is almost dead. It stands just Fuck. this mighty creature still up. Okay. Oh, that's my turn. Um, Arlo. I need to roll a d10, I think. Yeah, let's go for a little ride. Uh -oh. You never know. Uh, he's off. What do I roll a D eight? It says mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I run right to the dragon, to the creature. <laughs> <laughs> like, eat me. <laughs> One, two, Six. three, four, five. Into the. Into the wall? West? Down? Ish? Where do I go? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's this way. Am I tripping? Oh, you, you it's could... southwest. It's southwest. Which is kind of funny. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> But do I just run into the wall, or do I just, yeah. like, move past the wall? Uh, you're, you're the one that's frightened of fake things that are popping up and being real to you in this moment. You tell me exactly what you're doing. <laughs> oh. Gosh. I don't... I, I, I mean, he... he, he... Uh. Like, I don't... Uh oh What's wrong? What's wrong with my internet? Come uh, back. Oh, you're back. Baby, come back. Out. Hey, welcome back. Room 20 is bugging out. Come Hello. back. Oh, Hello. No, the, can anyone this... hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can hear me. Oh, uh, no. He, you could do, he's running in that direction. Uh, he's probably, maybe he's trying to crawl up the wall. I nice. Know, that's what I'm saying. I like it. The cursor. Delightful. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, you is it west? A... Is it exactly west? Or is it southwest? It, it's southwest, so you can go up the wall, you can oh, go into the then... room. It's your choice. Yeah, he's trying to just crawl up the wall, I guess. <laughs> that makes... Um, do you want to make an athletics check to see how high you go? Sure. <laughs> how successful are you? <laughs> yeah, you get up, you get up a little bit. Maybe, like, just, ten feet he's up. He's just running away. He's off. Yeah. Um... Wyatt. So, I was acting strange, so I want this thing dead so we can work that out. Finish him, um, brother. Oh. My brother in Christ. There will be no finishes. There will be no finishes. I think I think I will rotate around the beat to like block block it towards Arlo, just in case I don't know, doing weird Very things. Very smart. Um, and then I'll end my turn. It is going to snap at you aggressively. Oh um, god. Ota, ota. Oh, it does very aggressively. Oh, ota, twice ota. it bites. It does. It snaps with everything left in its little body, but you feel the wounds aren't oh. physical, and you're kind of surprised as you look down and you don't see any chunks missing from you. They just feel like mental wounds. Like... This is even worse. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. Casimir. Oh no! Casimir. Uh, that's all we can do? Yeah, yeah! Hey, I have faith in the Lord above. I don't. It's doing psychic damage. It's not going to matter. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't have psychic immunity. And Casimir, I'm so glad to say, how would you like Yeah! Yay! <laughs> yeah! I don't even think he realizes anything happens. He just, like, crouches back down. <laughs> 
and just thinks why I'll hit it or Lone will shoot it. He it thinks Arlo ran over. off, but <laughs> I mean it's pretty accurate. It slumps over after Casimir's piercing look and perishes. Couple, and you are out of turn. Order. Am I still infected? <laughs> I'm still trying to get this <laughs> one. Because <laughs> um, uh, you're running out of my guy. <laughs> What'd you say? Could you roll me a wisdom save, please? Oh, I don't know. You're gonna start seeing Lovin's mom. <laughs> uh, I think that's a pause. <laughs> yeah, you're good. I see your mom, Lovin. You kind of come to, and so you realize good. that the the leaves on that plant aren't actually like piranhas trying to eat you. And that everything's actually really fine, and that you're like ten feet up a wall that you've just scaled, and the dragon's dead. Is the siren, the alarm, still going off? Yeah, in the distance. That ain't good. Uh... Maybe we could find a uh, circuit box or something. Hmm. Is everyone okay? I'm kind of fucked up. Lowen you bit me and I got a headache. <laughs> Lowen kind of squints. Lowen doesn't say what they want to say. <laughs> hey, where's Arlo? He's just like standing behind you. Hey, you alright now? You need to go jungle gym. <laughs> Did I hear guys say something about a circuit breaker? Yeah, we gotta look for something to stop this uh, alarm sounding. Um, I throw out rats or like a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> nice. You throw out Ratsu like a Pokemon. I just, like, I launch. <laughs> like, yeah, <fuck> <laughs> he hits his fat little body, hits the ground and slides, and there's a, like, squeaking noise, and he hits the side of the bed. <laughs> and then he looks at you, <laughs> confused. I'm, I'm, like, I'm standing there for a moment. There's, like, a sense of, like, horrible normalcy. And why is like, Ratsu, find a circuit breaker. Ratsu stares. Ratto scuttles away, he finds a rat yeah. hole, and he I, digs into it. I figure, I figure, actually, I mean, obviously this is, like, stupid, but also, like, doesn't he have, like, kind of intelligent, like, sentient AI inside him? Yes, yes, so, yes, like, yes, 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 exactly. Maybe You're it's super not, right. like, so maybe it's not, like, a terrible idea. Maybe, like, it is actually, like, he, you know. I never thought You're of that before. Right. I just thought I had a fun fire rat in me, but no, he's like a computer as well. Mm-hmm. He's, he's fucking out yeah, there. Yeah, awesome. For Lumen Attack. Anyway, a few seconds later, after Ratso disappears down one of the rat holes, um, you hear the sound stop. Yo. Can you, uh... Alright. Uh, Cass pulls the guitar off his back and just smashes the glass of another one. <laughs> nice. It's really <laughs> satisfying to do. It doesn't go off. Okay. Hey. Alright. Oh, shit. Right. In I'll a weird right way, you hear four glass <laughs> smashed from the other room and he brings some <laughs> stuff back puts it in the middle of the room. Well, actually, when Cass did that, I think Arlo would have smashed this one. Oh, yeah. Because there is something, I guess, 
cathartic about it. Um, so as soon as... Yeah. Yeah, Good. you smashed that one with your body about a minute ago. But yeah, the vibe are there. The vibe's there. Oh, you the smash... Yeah, yeah, you smash anything you want. Yeah. Smash it all up. Are we having this scene where we all, like, smash things up? Because I feel like yeah. that would be super awesome and cathartic right now. Yeah. Yeah, like... Ooh, I don't know if one does it. Let me see if I can make this up. Come on, Lowen. Please. You can roll attack rolls if you want. If you just want yeah, to. Why it's gonna no pressure. Fucking pull you through this glass. Oh, oh Rosetta. <laughs> Get it. No. <laughs> this is fucking pug is good. Well, I mean, I got a bonus at. Damn. Hey! Oh, no. That doesn't count. I love that it's a plus one weapon, but I have a minus one to strength, so it's just... Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just a weapon. <laughs> Even <nice. laughs> But I don't know if it could be a montage of us just breaking things. Yeah, fuck yeah, it is. It's gonna be a montage. Has anyone ever seen Glass Onion? Yes. yes. Just fucking, just all of it's just like, so infuriated right now, just generally turns just smashing shit and like... I wonder if this is gonna great. work. See if we can use any of these, and uh, if not, give the rest to uh, oh. nice. the, um. uh, the rats. The, the group of people called the rats. He looks over at Wyatt, looks back. Hey, they need it, man. <clears throat> can I vibe check this uh, orb? Yeah, totally. You can make an arcana check after you smash the glass, of course. Yeah. Lauren takes, like, the butt of their rifle and smashes the glass. Um. Do I need to roll something? Yeah, attack rolls. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Like, strength or. Whatever you're using. So, like, the butt of your rifle is probably dex. Okay. Yeah, you shatter it. Yay. Okay, I can't know. <coughs> um, for the 14, you get a sense that this thing is pretty potently magic. Uh, you also get a sense mm. that it's designated for a certain type of caster. Um, and that caster is, with the 14, you could probably label it down as like a wizard. Or what you know as a wizard. Which are like people uh, that learn yeah. from books and shit. Snooze. <laughs> like, imagine not getting your magic from just being Vibes. in tune with <laughs> nature, just, right? just like ambience. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, the fuck it, dude. Wizard orb, fuck off, dude. <laughs> Una would be pissed if she lost her wizard orb. She'd be so. That's true. Angry. She would snatch it right out of us. That's right. Yeah. Imagine like this: just tiny Russian wizard turns up, takes the orb, leaves. <laughs> Why it's having a meltdown? I'm. I fucking told you, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lauren's gonna kind of just say to no one in particular. Uh, I think. Rat wanted this. I can't get any read on whether it's like a bad thing. So, I mean, I suppose. Hmm. It, I, it's. Get a vibe check on that. As he mm. suddenly cares about the fate of this fair world. I mean, well, are you doing city. anything different other than kind of look at it? No, I was seeing if he could get anything further off an Arcana check, but I don't... We haven't actually had to, like, do that yet, so I don't know if that's a thing in this campaign. Um, you can roll for it, but you might not get much more than what Lowen has already got. That's right. I only have a two, so... Yep, there we are. <laughs> You're like, orb! It's very nice! <laughs> Woo! Magics! <laughs> uh, it doesn't feel bad, I will say that. It doesn't innately feel... Fuck it, it doesn't feel like 
<laughs> oh, this is the worst thing in the entire world. It just feels like something's pretty potent and isn't designated for a specific mm. type of caster. Okay. Yeah, he just keeps going around. Anything that's, like, unattended, uh, he'll take. But if someone's looking at it, he won't, like, go bother them. And he'll just stack it up in the middle. Because he can't carry it all. Blue pile. He hopes somebody else can. <clears throat> I think without without much thought. Um I mean unless someone else grabbed it. Um you brought the stuff in the other room in here, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, I was looking at this before I knew what it did. Arlo would absolutely have taken the chain. Nice. Uh, does, anybody the else want the, does anybody else want the chain? Uh, uh, yeah, I want it, it back. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. It's okay, All we right, can roll for it. it. That's I'll the whole desert. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's not it! Like... <laughs> I'll give it back to Kermit. It fucking is, dude. Um, do you actually want to roll for it? No, well, no absolutely Please, not. Please, no. there's a system in place for this. No, I, I genuinely don't. I would actually love Arlo, who is like the spiritual successor to Kermit. I would like to. Aww. Be <laughs> uh, does anybody else want to roll for it? No. Uh, consider it yours. Arlo, it's on your person. But make sure you just have, like, note of it somewhere as existing. Um, on every level, I think, like, even tactically, I think Arlo should have it. But, like, my, like, gamer brain is, like, yeah, like, that should be for Arlo. Um, yeah. And then... I'm trying to see where... Where was it? Am I going crazy? Um, I've just moved it underneath you. I'll put it into your, like, inventory Oh, somewhere. that's why. Oh, I was looking yeah. at it. And, uh... <laughs> there you go. Let me remove it from everyone. Oh! Come back! Nice. Uh, all right. I guess we'll divvy up blue. May as well. Um, who wants what? What's going on? Make anybody feel there's, any vibes for anything? There's a great deal here. That's. I don't know what it does. Nor do I have the ability to know what it does. Um, like just from vibes. Obviously, I'm feeling. I'm feeling big armor. Right. Um, I, I want. Mm, the problem is, if we take it back to Rock to identify, they're probably not gonna like want us to. You yeah, know, you might have, have to give it up. I said yeah. we roll the dice and just just whatever it is, we just take. <laughs> you said you wanted the lamp as well. I mean, I said that, but obviously if someone really wants it, by all means, you know. Um, as you uh, take the lamp, you notice that kind of beside it, in the way that, like, old pieces of paper are, um, there's like this kind of splayed, almost like a booklet. And it looks quite old. Damn it. Um, next to the the lamp if that makes sense and you pick up the lamp and if you you can't read it so no worries nope. <laughs> all good <laughs> um i'm making notes but like i would like to pick up the calendar of necrobell like mm -hmm. once it's like smashed out of its yep. use it'll be like one second yeah um, totally What about this armor? Does anybody want to try and don it? 
uh, Hayden Christensen voice. I would certainly like to. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Because there's uh, studded leather armor, and then there's a uh, breastplate. I would very much like to try to put on the big heavy breastplate. Um, would anybody else like the breastplate? I've already took two things, so I think I'm good. Cool. I'm just gonna pull out some of these abilities so I don't forget. Um, and I will. It does require a At this time, load out one sec. Yeah, don't forget to. I mean, this is what you're wearing, but if you want to have casual clothes, don't forget to add them to your loadout. Oh, I think I, I think I would like uh, some some roadman clothes. How much? How much is like normal clothes? Oh, uh, just one slot. Okay, For, like, awesome. Thank you. All of them. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, and you want the the tome as well, so I'll add that to yours. Yes, please. I can uh, take away gun magazine and gun. The really fun thing is, when you open this, uh, you see a lot of stuff to do with the calendar of Necrobell, um, but you also kind of see, as if it's translucently interposed on the page, um, this is a tome of spell storing. Oh. And it has some magic in it still it has a haste spell and a shield spell inside uh, uh sorry what was the first spell you said uh it is a tome of spell storing very much like yeah, a yeah. ring of spell storing but a little bit different and it's got a thing uh, in it. Look, cool. i'm sure you so i don't know if you want to i don't know who wants to get that with that knowledge now, but that's not that's something for you all to sort out. I'm just gonna drop that in there. Our attorney is so fucking slow. Anyway. Oh that's fucking awesome. Uh, I would first like to like read the calendar of Necrobell to people. Yeah, go on. And then, and then, like when when someone's like, "Dude, there's a fucking book," I'll be like, "Oh," and then I can like give it to whoever wants it, like you know. Okay. Yeah, um, go ahead, read. Something. So what? Uh, why it takes this calendar? And he starts to read because he's he's like bizarrely drawn into it, I suppose. Um, and he turns a page and and he reads. The city shall be made hollow. Of those who rest in hollowness, they shall not be seen. And the earth shall shake and be riven, and from the cracks shall rise a poisonous mist, and in ten days it will shroud the world. Of those who built mightily, stone by stone, so shall they fall, stone by stone. And the depths of the underworld shall bring forth flying spectres and crawling beasts. In their passing the worm grows fat, the vulture weary. Doubt is crowned, the loyal shall turn their blades on those who silver gave, and blood cough shall spread like fire across the wastelands of the drought. And then he flicks through the pages. It's just fucking insane. At the back, like, all praise yet Sabu Nick, the underworld's nightmare, the black disc which stands before the sun. Oh no. All praise Verhu. Beaming with delight, all praise the fire which burns all, and the darkness shall swallow the darkness. Holds it up. This thing's kind of fucked up, but does anyone know what a yet sabu neck is? I doubt Arlo would know anything. Has anyone ever been to Morkborg? <laughs> Take a d4 of psychic damage. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I guess I'll just put it away. Um, I don't know. I can feel magic inside it. So I'm like, I offer mm-hmm. out to like one of the others. Like, no way. Do not want. I also feel like I do not need weird demonic scripture. Like, or just hanging. I, I have enough of it. Like, It'd be hella <laughs> useful. It's super useful now. It'd be hella useful if we ever got 14 days off straight. But... Hey, you never know, man. Hey, uh, true. I'm not going to say that's aren't not a like, possibility. Aren't we, like, close to a long rest among crack? Yeah, you're, like, within Is it like three or two or three days. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, you got to use spells, put it. Not that you need to now, but... Um... Yeah, he'd probably offer this, like, see if uh, Lowen wants it. If we know what it does. If we don't know what it does, then he's got no idea. Yeah, you know what it does. Uh, you open it and you see it's a like a tome of spell story. And it's got two in there already. I don't know if we okay. lost Lucy. Yeah, is Lucy here? No, I'm here. Hey. Uh, no, you don't. You don't see anything to do with no calendar of nothing or yet Savu Neck or fucking Verhu or any of these motherfuckers. This guy's talking about. This guy's chatting no, 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 no. shit, bro. There's, there's a curse at the bottom. Do we see that? <clears throat> uh, I mean, not really. It's not a curse that is affecting anybody here. So. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of all the shit in this thing, and then I'll throw it into Discord, and then maybe yeah, after yeah. the session we can just, like, chat out who wants what instead of, like, yeah, burning it's, time it's in here. Get, like, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you all can debate on it. Most of it's out of character debate True. anyway, so it's super easy yeah. and quick. Um, after everybody sorted everything, this is a time skip. Um, what do you want to do? I'd like to summon back Ratso and then ask, like, meekly ask Arlo if there's, like, anything down the corridors that he, like, ventured into earlier. Like the... Like, up here? Um, you would know. Again, he... Sorry, I was just going to tell you what you saw. You saw a like a corridor, and then there was like a, a large kind of draconic looking skull. Um, beneath it said Kyaten. Uh, you saw like like one, two, three, four, five, six like display cases, uh, and you saw one of them was broken. That's fair. And that's it. I was going to say. Okay, I was going to say with his perception, do you do you think he would have? Again, you know, minus minus one, baby. No, but um, he did. Other than the chitin thing, um, he would probably just say, "I mean, there's more things down there." He he doesn't. He still doesn't really look at why, but he answers. Well, I guess the place is like sufficiently cleared out, unless there's anything else on the on the ceiling. I would lose look at the ceiling. It just uh-huh. it's pretty tall. There's yeah. another one. He's he's running away. Yeah. I'll uh I'll, like poke my head in the corridors and check out the ceiling. Um, just to make sure there's no more horrid astral bat. Mm. Mm, you don't see anything. Okay. These, like, keep going deeper in, or...? Uh, you kind of come back out into the main exhibition hall through that way. You go through some corridors, you see uh, through there some kind of 
little uh, winding display areas that are more kind of like artistic focused and that they have more portraits and stuff. Um, and it's like a dedication to what's described as the bison people, which are like, uh, you see pictures of them or like depictions of them and they are just kind of effervescent looking kind of people. And then you walk back through to the start. There's no like cool artifacts that way though. Okay. Um, is there anything going on with this window? Does it look, is there anything behind it or just outside? Yeah, you're look, looking around. You go through all these different uh, little navigational holes and like rooms and a lot of them are empty. A lot of them aren't filled. A lot of them aren't finished. Um, there's even some places where, because the building itself isn't finished, that uh, some of the roof is caved in and there's like uh, kind of moss and ferns and other entity kind of flora uh, gro growing through. At some point you kind of, eh, there's not really much in here um, to be cleared out, just like that dragon thing. Okay. And probably those stone things if Ratso didn't uh, disable the alarm. So that's good. Ooh. He's a good boy. I'm really like absentmindedly playing with the the alarm clock. <laughs> uh, so is it like cleared out? Pretty much, yeah. I think so. Should we go tell him? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, cool, you start to head back, uh, I assume. Yeah. You go, Denny, sorry. Um, he just wanted to make sure Wyatt could carry it. Oh, the... A lot, of, a lot of shit. Oh, um... Yeah, I think between... I think between me and... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, between me and Arlo's loadouts, I think we've got the capacity to carry everything, yeah. right? Also, like, I'm not super worried because it's not that far, firstly, but also you could use, like, a tarp and then wrap it all up and then carry it, not in your loadout, but just, yeah. like, by your arms and shit, and you're strong enough to do that, so yeah. it's fine. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we're good. I think he'll uh, carry that shit out. Um, does anybody else want to do anything in here before you return to Newtown? No, I'm good. Nope. Okay. Uh, Arlo, Lowen. Um... No, I think I'm good. Hello? Uh, I sh oh, no, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? I thought you were BRB, but you're not. Oh, no. Uh, no, he just... Yeah, he just leaves. <laughs> you'll never know <laughs> you'll never you never know what it is it could be anything it could be fucking anything I don't know what the fuck it is actually I just do stupid shit sometimes let me look where is that stupid alarm clock oh it's down here uh. I mean, no, no. Are you going to attune to it? <laughs> no. You should attune to it. Uh, he's, I mean, once he, if he knows what it is, he might consider it, but I'm not taking anything that I don't know what Fine. it is. You don't, you don't trust the face of this wonderful fucking Google image <laughs> alarm clock? <laughs> no. 
Fair. You know what? Fair. Um, everybody starts to head back. Uh, there's a montage where you're handing the ship back that you need to hand back. You can start to hear Rave Hall again. Um, you go to Lee. Lee says, thank you. Uh, are you giving over the orb? Uh, yeah. Okay, die for. Um, Lee takes the orb. Lee takes all the rest of the stuff. Um, thanks you. Says that you're, like, welcome if you wanted to move to the hotel. She'll give you, uh, room keys now. Mm. That's up to you. Uh, but she yeah. asks that you, yeah. like, let her yeah, fucking please. know. Okay, nice. Um, she also says that outside, posted to mess hall, perhaps, uh, haven't noticed yet, uh, there is a community board. And if you are keen to pick up some, like, extra work so that you can contribute, um, you should take a look at it as well. Um, I'll show you that later, but for now, could everybody do me a favor? Sure. <laughs> Roll me. Oh my god, what is happening? My maps aren't in folders no more. This is the worst timeline of all. Oh no. Don't look at me and tell me that. In this economy. That's devastating. I have tears running down my face. I oh. would I I might not DM like for a week if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's yeah. so many maps. I know. <coughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh, it's not fixing itself. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna kill myself. You go upstairs. Um, there's a long corridor. Can everybody roll me a one D ten? And if you get the same number as someone else, can you please re-roll? Thank you. Uh, also, what she does mention oh. is that you're probably going to have to share a room. So if you get the same number as someone else, then God says you have to share a room. Oh. But you're good. Everybody's chilling. Might Unless you good. want to voluntarily do that, in which case, go out. No. What? Yeah, Very yeah I'll share a room with Wyatt, actually. Oh. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. I nah, see, cracking my knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, this is a great <laughs> idea. Um, if that's the arrangement, Cass will go back to the other place. <laughs> yeah, no, you all got your own um rooms for now. Mostly because I can't find Yay. this hotel map. For now, um, I actually can't believe how screwed over I'm getting right now. That's so sad. I cannot believe the standard at which. Does anybody want to do anything before we wrap up the session? Uh, it's starting to get towards dinner time. Um, I know Wyatt wanted to say some shit. Is that still the case? Yeah, let's give the guys will we'll, you know hear him out and talk talk through stuff. Maybe they can make connections that he can't. Uh, we'll put a rain check on that. Depends. The, okay. the, the, uh, I'll be honest, there was something that uh, was irking Arlo. Okay. That he definitely wanted to say as a point. But um, I, I feel like if Lowen was the one, I know, I'm sorry, Lucy, that you're the one. But if Lowen mentioned to Arlo about having some sort of speaking, you know, or talk or something, Arlo would probably do it. Um, uh, but if Wyatt went to him, he probably would. I mean, know. if Wyatt... Lowen's not going to be the one to initiate this whole thing, so... Wyatt will need to say something first. The chain. Yeah. Lauren's not going to be like, okay, let's get the trauma bonding underway. Um, Wyatt will be like, can we trauma bond later? <laughs> Wyatt's asking if we can hold hands. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> for that. 
Um, if Wyatt brings it up, then Lauren will kind of say, I don't know, uh, Wyatt wants to talk about something. He's already burdened me with his vision. Um, it has to do with how our parents died, so I understand if you don't want to go, but I guess I'm going to give him a chance. Maybe his last one. He would probably just nod. Wouldn't say much, but nod. Okay. Is this um a kind of why it, I guess this is your call. Is this a discussion that you uh want to have like this week? Or do you think it's gonna happen like tomorrow morning? Would you rather have it in the evening before everyone goes to bed or like what's the vibe? Um in the evening sounds nice. But okay. obviously, like, next week, but, like, evening. Does that make sense? Unless, yeah, like, not this session, because I feel like it could take a while, but... Yeah, that sounds like... good. I like it. Yeah. Picasso. Picasso is not going to take a while. No, I don't know if I should do it. Do, do it. Uh, you walk out... Bro, I've been fully, like, GG'd by, uh... Roll 20 right now. You do walk out though, and I have uh, the map I wanted to show you. Um, you see, there's a little community board. Yay! And it has Ooh. stuff on it. If you wanted to look at it. Nice. Castle Garden. The town the Dave local. is missing. He's missing. <laughs> Where'd he go? Applications for new Dave. Find missing family. I think, I think is Wyatt is Dave. I swear, is this, the, I swear there's a town literally called the Town of Dave. Is it called the Town of Dave or is it the Church of Dave in like Fallout 3? I'm not encouraging anyone to play Fallout 3, I just, I swear. <laughs> oh, I don't think it was Dave, it was something else. There was like a Fallout shelter one of the vaults was um full of a bunch of people just named the same name it is uh. called the republic of dave ah <laughs> there you go delightful um okay cool so i suppose everybody has dinner and maybe that's where this conversation is going to take place unless anybody wants to do anything before that oh boy i mean i don't want to take up more time. You take up I, time if you want to, boo-boo. There was a thing Arlo was going to do because of what Lowen said earlier. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. But, and if it take by all means, you know, people can just let me know. I'll, I'll stop. You go. But, um, you take the floor. He would have he would have actually looked for uh, Nesimir. Yo. Um, let me set the scene for this. So we have somewhere that we're at. Uh, you walk into the mess hall. Uh, the mess hall is a, a large room with lots of uh, picnic tables, effectively, that have been uh, pulled in. It's beautiful. There's these kind of tall glass chandeliers everywhere, covered in dust, of course, and these, like, large windows. It's very, like, uh, Renaissance. It's very Orchon, Palais Versailles-esque. Um... Kaz, I assume you're just eating dinner. You're sitting down. Maybe uh, mm -hmm. Arlo comes up with his tray and sits across from you. <clears throat> just nods. In, in what way am I not taking it seriously? It's just going to kind of like look around. Uh, here? Alright. Uh, 
To be honest, well, I didn't know we were going to do it here neither. I, no, I, know. I'm, I'm, I agree. I'm just <laughs> reacting. Uh, he <laughs> kind of just like looks back up. Well, there were a few times on the uh, that first mission where. Uh, oh God, I can't remember his name. What was Cass's roommate's name? Yeah, what was Cass's roommate's uh, name? Oh, what was um, his name? <laughs> damn. Uh, the the my cheater page in the Discord is gone. Wait, I probably have uh -huh. his name. Um, hold on. <laughs> Do you actually want me to tell you? Because I I know. Yes, please. <laughs> his name Pen? was Pen Shigosh. Yeah. All right, all right. I got got the first name. Ah. Um. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, where we lost Penn, that was, uh, once we met back up, you, uh, were pretty last of day school about everything going on, and even this most recent one, you, uh, got hit a few times by some sort of creature, we don't know what it is, and then you refused to get checked out, like. For one, nobody told me about Penn's demise until later. And two, I just wanted a palate cleanser. I did get checked out. And I am not infected. That's good to hear. But what angers me about that is... Every time when we are in something, I throw myself at whatever it is, so that all of you don't end up being attacked. And to be told by Loen that you think I'm not taking this seriously. I understand that I have a outlook that a lot of people don't like, whereas I try to see the positive, which is getting very hard when I'm surrounded by not positive people. But I try. Well, it's all well and good. And I do thank you for doing that. But. If you're going to do that, you got to take what comes with it. Like, you can't just take half the responsibility. If something that could be bloom or bloom adjacent hits you, regardless of who you're protecting, it can't be something that you put off. What if in the time, nothing happened this time, nothing happened the time before, we've been alright. But let's say it had. Let's say, I don't know where you went, but let's say wherever you did go, you turned in the middle of it. How those people would have worked out. I mean, this, these are all what ifs. What if I never got called in the first place? And I you wouldn't can't be straw here. man. That's that's true. That's also a straw man. That ain't that ain't anything that we're here. It happened. It's not. That's not something that can change in the future. We can keep getting hit by things like that if we're going to be out here for much longer. I just need to know that you're not going to. Be irresponsible about this disease, this 
virus, whatever the hell it is. If you had, if any of us had turned when we were in a doctor's place about to get tested or left that because we didn't want to and then turned somewhere else, that's a lot of dead folks. A lot of people that don't need to be. I'm sure if something was to happen to me, you and Wyatt would kill me without hesitation. If I had to, I'd kill anybody that was infected. But you gotta take some personal responsibility outside of that. That's the whole point. That's. It all boils down to that for me. We're in this war zone. We're in this. We could die tomorrow just because somebody sneezed the wrong way kind of situation. And we all have to be responsible for our own shit. Sure, we could look out for each other. I'd expect you to, if I got infected, take me out too. But, I still gotta be responsible about that on my end of things. But see, that, that is where we differ. If you were infected, I would try to find a cure instead. That's the difference. You could care so little about everyone else. It ain't not caring. It's a fucking war zone. We gotta be pragmatic about it. I still Did give it? a shit. Do you? Because yes. when they asked us... About taking us back, not one of you asked about the others who are injured. You have someone here that you apparently care for. And not one of you piped up and asked about anyone else. What do you mean? They asked... Harry asked about taking us back. Just the four of us. And it wasn't mentioned by any of you about Wilder has no leg. He has one leg. Nesker was laying in the hospital bed. Ira was injured. Madrigal was injured. Everyone was worse off than we were. And not one of you asked. That is what I mean. You say you care. I have not seen that. They got their own mission to deal with. I called asking for an airlift and our... You know... People that are supposed to... Outfit us. Didn't give a shit. But in your so I, we got them back to here. Where they could rest up. Where they could heal. Where they could continue on their mission. They don't need to go to Ghost. So the most you did was call and radio, and then we brought them here. Why would I want to bring them out into the wild when they can get here, recoup until they can either continue their mission, or get to an extract? You... You were saying how you didn't trust these people, and you're willing to leave them with the people you don't trust. That ain't my decision. That's my decision for... is I don't want to bring them out into the wild when the man doesn't have a leg. I'd rather he be here where there's at least some semblance of something. I trust Kira and I trust Madrigal to take care of him. 
Those are three people, three injured people in a town of people we don't know. Kira and Magical are fine. Hell, Kira could kick any of our asses. I'm sure she could take any of them. Just think you're quick to judge the way I handle things and you don't even look inwardly at yourself and how you handle things. What do you mean? It ain't about how anybody handles things. It's about personal responsibility. Take emotions out of it. That is not me. Well, we're at war, bud. That's gonna get you killed. The last person who told me this, things like you said, is sitting with a leg missing now. So I'll take my chances. All right. I think he. I, th I think he walks away at that point. Delightful. Um, is there anything that either of you would like to do before we close out? I'm good. I'm done. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Is there anybody else that would like to do anything before we close out? Nah, I'm good. Low and quiet. Nice. Um. I think in the solitude of Lauren's room, they're gonna just lie in bed and... <clears throat> ...talk quietly to themselves, or not really to themselves, to their parents, just... <coughs> um... Uh, I think the main, like, thing they're saying is that they're going to try and hope that Wyatt's not just having a mental break and that... <laughs> they're doing it for them, you know? They're like... Saying, okay, I'll take this chance for your sake. Um, you just kind of lie there and think about them. Maybe actually have a bit of a cry. It's like they didn't cry earlier when Wyatt was going off on one, but now they are. Um, and that's them. That's what they're going to do till they fall asleep. That's a crazy coincidence, because cause Wyatt is next door talking to your parents as well. Ah! Oh, fuck off. Shut <laughs> up, bro. Get out of here. That's right. so rude. That's Can you it. ban him? <laughs> it's Valentine's Day Blitz. Out of all the days on God's Green right. Um, Everyone's hurting my feelings on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Love you very much. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.